died more. So, you know, I think, it's just I think the most point. impressive thing about I've, you and Greckles is the fact how many times I place enemies that eat things and you are just the first person to always, hey, every time. Most of the time, most of the time, it's not my fault. It's That's not called being a dedicated leader. Like, he's just making sure it's good for everybody. It's he's the Marty Tank. Mm -hmm. He literally, he literally is like, Thanks. I'm gonna avoid this monster by running in this direction. Where on the GM screen, which by the way is a, is a level on roll twenty that only I can see, mm. is another monster, and I'm just like, hmm, okay. Well, you know how it goes. It's you know can't be seen. Don't know. The what next to time tell you make you. an encounter like that, you need to have like red text in that area that says if Greckles goes here, <laughs> with just like dot dot dot. So that way, if it happens, you can let us know. And the token slides to the left a little bit. <laughs> just a tad, right. just a tad. Oh, Might Lord. I consult the Greckles chart for this? <laughs> the Greckles. The Greckonomicon. The Greckonomicon. Add, add, add it to the Greckonomicon. It is still in production. Amazing. That's not a joke this either. A We're making it's just, a book. It's just a, it's just a log with scribbles on it from knives with feathers all over it. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> so what's... Hmm. Throw it yeah. down the river. Let's write on it more. The book of the number of times Greckles has been Whoa. swallowed. Chapter one. Three or four, I think. Maybe five. Are I we... can't recall. How's the stream looking? Are we good or it's not? You would look good. I just good okay, cool. I, I just, I, had the I literally loaded in the page and it was change. like going and stopping and playing. And I was like, what's happening? I'm watching Mill Ninja really take damage, so it's fine. Nice. In fact, good. we're looking pretty crispy at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Pretty... Crispy? So who wants to lead us in? Do you want me to take point on that? Yeah, I gotta write Go an intro. It. So. Okay, so if that, do you want to do your thing right now, then Monty? So you can just focus. Uh, uh, sorry, Monty, where can they find you? So you can focus oh the Jesus! Okay, hold on. I'm adjusting my personal audio levels because things are loud and quiet. Uh, hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I'm probably gonna be posting updates with my progen. Uh, my face is done. It's sent. It's being sent in the mail. It's coming from Ontario, so I'm very, very excited for that. Um, but the problem is because it's been snowing outside, I can't paint the rest of it. Um, so that's, what do you do? Um, so just keep your eyes peeled for that on my Twitter. I also, um, post pictures of my cat and my really fat frog GURPS. Mm. Um, so definitely keep, keep, keep your eyes peeled on that. In terms of streams tomorrow, we're going to have, uh, Legend of Zelda. I don't know what it is about Zelda that turns me into a horrible goblin, but... <laughs> I don't know. Something primal comes out of me when I play Legend of Zelda. Also, I keep finding glitches by accident. It's a, it's the second stream where I've, I've caused some sort of glitch where I jump near a ledge, and Link can't decide if he wants to climb up or stay on the ledge, and it causes this really funky glitch, and I don't know why it keeps happening. I That's don't know what I've tech. done. It's the opposite of speedrun tech because I get stuck, and I can't get out, and then I have to start smashing buttons until I get out. Um, I, I absolutely love the Scarecrow incident. That was good. What happened with the Scarecrow? You, your Scarecrow song. You had it jump all around. To, <laughs> you, 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 you left. You left the Forest Temple to go back to the Temple of Time. Right. Couldn't, right. couldn't leave. Your sheik was in the way, and then I called you a stinky poo poo baby, and then we had a fight. That's and right. And then That's apparently you got him. <laughs> I went back. I got my Scarecrow song, and then I, I caught a giant fish, and then I went back to the Forest Temple because I just needed a break. Let's be honest. That temple, <laughs> oof. Um, I went back, tried to summon the scarecrow. He's not summonable. Oops, shenanigans ensued. I it's it's been a, it's been a time. So definitely come and catch that one. It's God, it's stupid. And then on uh, I'm just very quickly here on Sunday, we're at the tail end of Final Fantasy IX. We literally have side quest city, and then we have the final dungeon of the game. Uh, it's gonna actually be the first time I ever beat a Final Fantasy game from beginning to end. So that's pretty exciting. Um, a lot happened in the previous episode. Um, a lot of lore was dropped. It's a little back heavy in the plot line department for Final Fantasy IX, but it's a good game and I'm really enjoying myself. So definitely come and check that out. We're going to be doing the optional bosses. We're going to be doing a bunch of side quest stuff. So that's probably going to be quite a few streams and then we're going to do the end. Um, so yeah, come check, come check that out. It's really fun. Okay. Bye. Hey, Goomba, where can they find you? Oh shit. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba streaming Neo 2 way too much uh, because I just can't wait for Rise, which will be later next month. This weekend, however, because I probably need a break from Neo 2, I want to goof around with Tokiden. So imagine if the people who made Neo 2 took the Neo 2 formula but put it in a Monster Hunter formula. That's kind of what we got. Uh, it is wild. It is far more intense 
in terms of visuals than Monster Hunter, but it's a lot easier. So I don't have to lose my shit fighting a Diabolos while people are dropping bits. <laughs> uh, that was a horrible death. Uh, aside from that, uh, I have a brand new video up on my second channel, Guide Your Perspective, talking about the five things that drive me absolutely nuts about Japan. And it's not the only five, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, be sure to check that out. That's It was really introspective. Uh, let's see, aside from that, I did have a new Witch Ninja go up talking about the philosophies and religion of, of Ninja, believe that or not. And uh, this weekend, I am bringing back Culture Shock. So, Monty, you might be interested in this. I'm going to be talking mm. about the Mesoamerican influences within Bowser's Fury. Oh. Because there is a lot of them. I imagine, oh. yeah. A whole lot of them. So that's Ooh. that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, aside from that, I got a brand new PC. So hate, the next guy, hmm? guy, yeah, I'm putting yeah. my hands together. You remember that thing I messaged you about? Are you thinking about? Yes, I am, Ma Ma Monty. Okay, okay here's the thing though. Can you get? Can you get? Can you get me footage? I'll get you footage. I will get absolutely get you. Footage. Get me if you can get me. Okay, I I tell you this. If you can get me footage, I will do the video. I will get you footage. I 100 will get you footage. Goblin, okay. grab the footage. <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> It's a goblin. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with trying to bring culture shock back as being more open to world culture versus just the hyper fixation of Japan that I have. I love <laughs> that shit. Um, but yeah, and uh, I got some other things in the works, but I'll talk about those later. So that's me. I'm gonna go run to the bathroom really quick and do the shotgun before we get started. Mark Allen Jr. What? Where's Zito? Uh, he's in my booth. <laughs> Zito, where can they find you? Vanished in the shadow realm. Hi, Zito. Hi, Kurt. How's it going? Oh, my God. Eh, oh, wow. <laughs> eh it's a thing. Long story short, <laughs> the storm knocked down the ceiling in my building, and I'm over at Mark's place right now using his booth. So. God bless, Mark. God Don't bless. Don't worry. Yes, God We're bless, practicing Mark. good social distancing. I promise. Yes, yes. So that's kind of why Carts is going to be dead for a while. A lot of my other, like, my stuff for, like, writing is going to be dead for a while. The only things I have been doing as of right now uh, has just been miscellaneous artwork, a lot of commissions, and, uh, and uh, a lot of indie games came out. But, you know, obviously streams are going to be a little sparse considering I got a million other fucking problems I got to deal with right now. Uh... But I will say I want to thank everyone who actually has been like generous over the past week. I I have I've cried. I've cried. A lot of fucking folks were super generous and it's really heartwarming to know that that actually happened. Uh if what I can tell you in terms of streams, uh Fights in Tight Spaces just came out today. Uh next time I stream, I'll be playing that. And uh oh yeah, one more other thing. I actually got picked up on a freelance gig for contract work for game design and doing some character designs for a friend's game. So cool. I'll be posting about that shortly. Hmm. Actually, I have posted about that. Uh, if you guys could give feedback on that on my Twitter at CZBacklash at Twitter, uh, I've actually posted a couple of designs for some uh, primary pieces uh, to see what me and the dev like out of them. So please check it out. The lines have yellow and the coloring has swag. So mm. Mark... Sorry. The other man in the room, how are you doing today? Where can they find uh, well, you? Well, I'm in another room, but I'm doing okay. Um, you guys can find me on twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. Uh, here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my now losing weight fat cat who always sleeps bunny on uh, Instagram at chonk for life. Um, I have uh, had the pleasure of having quite a few announcements over the last couple of weeks while we were off. First of all, I'm alive. Uh, the snowstorm in Texas was interesting from a weather nerd's perspective, but I will not get into that because that's like a stream of its own. Um, so I'm that's alive. We're good. Um, very excited um, that uh, the uh, 1980s movie uh, titled uh, Venus Wars uh, is now out on Blu-ray, and uh, you can hear me as Rob in that. You can pick up your copy on SentaiFilmWorks.com. Also, really excited, super excited, to announce that um, I'm joining the cast of Dr. Stone as Ukiyo <gasps> Sionji. Hey! Oh, nice. hey! Congrats, yes. man. So, dude, that, dude. that episode, his introduction episode, sort of introduction, he had one line, uh, just show, just aired last week. Uh, so you guys can look forward to more of that. I'm oh, man. super my friend stoked. My friend Darcy loves that anime. I'll have to let her know about it's that. It's a fantastic show. Um, I was a big fan of the first season. 
um, and had done some bit parts early on in the first season. So I'm really excited to like actually be in it and do some do some meaty stuff. Um, and last, but definitely not least, um, the finale of The Day I Became a God is going up on Funimation this weekend. Um, I will absolutely cry if I talk about it too long today, um, but I hope you guys check it out. I really hope you guys enjoy it. We put our all into this show, and I think the last episode really shows that. Um, sorry, I'm just not ready for it to be over. Um, anyways, that's me. Moving on. Edward Bosco. We're going to find Yo, you, what up? Uh, you Isn't can that? find me on twitch.tv slash Burnout Vaughn and on Twitter at Burnout Vaughn, where Why? on Thursday no, no. Hey, my, we hey, wrapped up Fate. Boss. Shut up, Kurt. I'm in the middle of my intro. How That's extremely rude. Uh, yeah, on f Thursday it was Fate. We just wrapped that up with the lovely Zako duo. Uh, also doing some D&D &D streams where I basically become uh, like Zito and Connor mush together and do some homebrew stuff. We go over the uh, the player's guide and a whole bunch of extra stuff in D&D &D 5e. And I've been playing Hades recently, a couple days ago. Actually, yesterday. Uh, got into Hades, so come check that out wherever your tweetarness is. Uh, also, to the one person who thinks they're going to beat the Jailer, you should check out the latest cinematic and watch the Jailer kick ass, and then maybe rethink your life choices. Siggy's going to kill you. I, 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 I saw it. that no, freaking. I, I saw that freaking banner ad. I just know he's you. No, Siggy's going to succeed, and when she, and when Siggy does, there will be a celebration. And then we will all band together and actually kill you. Yeah, so, it, yeah, that's a credit yeah. mark. You Man, really I'm I'm so glad I jumped off that game when it just got out of alpha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep going, Bosco. No, I guess I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Bosco. No, it's fine. Go Bulls. There you go. There's my shtick. <clears throat> he said the thing. He said the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zach Levine is an all-star for the first time. Fucking finally. Jesus. Kurt, where can they find you? Why me? Are th you're done? Yeah. Okay. That's Nobody excellent. wants to hear my shtick. Go. That's fine. That's okay. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata 101. I'm an anime character. I apologize for that as well. Uh, I beat somebody at Yu-Gi-Oh this weekend. I beat him really badly, but the thing is, I, he was beating me so badly, he needed to help me build a proper modern deck, and then I beat him three firms in a row. He did his Pretty, job too well. Yeah, no, he, he shouldn't have taught me how to be a piece of shit in this game. It's a bad mistake. <laughs> I was I was playing with the, with the spirit of the cards, but they were like, no, here's the meta. Oh, okay. Win, win, win. All right. That's a bit easier. the point of that game just to fucking topple your enemy in one turn and then yeah. gloat about it? The entire point is to try and destroy somebody in the first turn. That's the game now. And I'm like, well, that's what happens when you keep adding shit that can do that. Mm -hmm. One to one. Look at magic. No, magic's not as bad. Magic is not yes. as bad. What magic, are you talking about? You know what, know what um, magic doesn't have to do? Magic doesn't have to deal with a fucking show coming out every two years that adds a new <laughs> fucking factor to the game. And rather than making a new game, which they clearly should do, they just slap it onto that fucking monstrosity. <laughs> I know the good guards in water sky. Anyways, guys, you can find me at Twitch.tv slash Takahata 101. And as well, you can... Bosco, sorry. Find me at Twitch.tv slash Takahata 101. And there'll be lots of fun stuff this week. I will be streaming tomorrow, Valhalla at 3. I got a Friday night stream as well. We got wrestling on Saturday. And we got a Sunday night stream. So see you guys there. I miss All righty. And Connor, take us home. My Country name is Connor. Level up a dub dub. You can find me on uh, Twitter, <laughs> uh, Twitch, and YouTube.com. <laughs> Slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, this past Tuesday, it's uh, Tabletop War Gaming. We were playing Warhammer 40k 9th Edition, and I whooped Luke's ass with my Emperor's Children. Uh, he he could not stand the song of Slanesh uh, for very long. Uh, and I, I boomboxed all over him. That was a lot of fun. I'm hoping we can play again next week as well. I might bring back Drukari, because that sounds fun. Uh, so, uh, Friday. Friday is Friday Fun House where I play uh, a lot of fun games. Uh, friends may or may not show up. Uh, Saturday is Yakuza Kiwami 2, uh, shortly before either Gateway or the Prince Division. Uh, that's a lot of fun. Every time I play, every time I boot up that game, I just have so much fun, man. <laughs> Yakuza is great. And Sunday, uh, I'm either playing through Half Life Alex or I'm playing games with the Harbingers, the community over at the Dead House Sonata Discord. And if you don't know about Dead House Sonata by now, where the heck have you been? I literally plug it at the end of every or 
at the beginning of everything that I'm ever in. It, it <coughs> kills me every time someone posts bread house ciabatta. It kills me. Bread house that, ciabatta. One, that one's pretty good. That <laughs> might hey, be the strongest one. Hey, Connor. Literally. Yeah. Uh, if you had a football game, like football, where the dead played against the living, it'd be dead house patata. Oh. That's Spanish for kick. How do I kick out someone out of a Discord like group? Uh, okay. like, 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 um, I, I, it, I see it's clever. Okay. It in from... Oh, I, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, disconnect, kick Edward Bosco, ban Edward Bosco. Fine. Nah, no, save that. Done. Save that for a rainy day. Okay, I'll save that for a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> whenever whenever, actually, whenever yeah. I hear any of these puns, <laughs> all that goes through my head is dead house. Blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's happening, and you can find everything that you could ever want to know about Dead House Sonata right here uh, at that link. You can also purchase the Founders Pack through that link, and if you do, some of that money gets thrown back to me. And speaking of uh, giving me money uh, for goods and services, uh, here's my DMs Guild, uh, where hopefully soon I will get the art for the Passion Domain Cleric, and then I'll be able to put out the Passion Domain uh, on my DMs Guild and It'll be exactly the same as the other ones, and it's going to be very fun. And also be sure to look out next month for the Predator Rogue, because it has oh. a bunch of inspiration from the uh, Predators of the Wild. You uh, know Predator's a ninja, right? Can I turn invisible? I did know that, uh, but he's not a real ninja because he doesn't wear blue. <laughs> uh, right. He's only a Kunoichi. Is that it for me? I think it is, yeah. Um, right. I can take us away here with some subs, then, if you don't mind. Well, wait, we wait, need to wait, plug our wait. wonderful sponsor. That's Die right! Thank diapers. you very much! I was waiting for you to say it. I really was. I was like, eh? Were you? I'm, I'm, yeah, I actually like was. I know. The bits and dude, subs. Dude, 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 I know. I know. I, I'll just I, go I, ahead. Dead I'm house. Out. Uh, <laughs> dead house. <laughs> dead house. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Diana's going to have... <laughs> Diana's gonna have words. Oh, <laughs> wow, it's just, it's oh, just. I love you've it. poisoned, you've you've poisoned me, Chad. You did this to your side. You did this to yourself. Hard dice. Uh, I did it to myself. Really? Yeah, Is this my yeah. fault? Yeah. So here, let's try this again. Die hey, hard Connor, dice. Okay. There's <laughs> a great place to get both polymer and metal dice, as well as dice accessories and dice trays. Sorry, I'm in excruciating ball pain right now. Uh, Do you want me to take over? Pol polymer and metal dice uh, comes in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and colors. Uh, anything you could possibly want. Uh, all sorts of different flavors, but don't eat them. Um, and if you use the coupon code uh, EXPECTFEB, you can get 10% off your entire order price at dieharddice.com. Awesome. I actually want to get more. After getting the new Dracona set, I'm like, I want a full, like, D, like the full D20 set with all the dice of the Dracona set. Because I got one, but I gave it to Draco, and I want my own because they're really cool looking. I also want to try the multi class yeah. dice because you can snap them together and have like multiple, like, if you're playing like a Rogue Ranger, you can slap that together and have like a ro ro Rogue Ranger dice. That's really cool. The, uh, the Valentine's Day uh, specific. A dice that they have out now. Uh, they're really cool looking. You mm. should definitely go check it out if you if you like dice. They're colorful. I am. Anyway, that's my bed. I'm gonna stand up for a little bit. Okay. I know. All righty. So I want to thank the following people. I want to thank Warm Spawn, Barbecue Command, 101, Blue Clock, Zen to Win, Skyblade 71325, Triage 06, Dax Z99, Deathstorm 411, Meisterwurst, E Pam, Midnight, Kitsune of the Moon, Chaos himself. Kaze 3173, Bud the Spud, X Mechanicus, Misu Bill. Thank you all so much. And Viridian Winter, thank you for gifting a sub as well to Jolly Swag Man. Defector Jeep with five subs. Gifted to the community. Thank you so much, Defective Sheep, for those five subs. Very kind of you. Always kind, Defective Sheep. Always so kind. Debonsk, Riku 9619, Pingu Crimson, May DeBerry, Andrew the Shandrew, Timitor, 10,000 Armored Bees, <sighs> White Tory in the House, The Goblin Review, uh, Ransack 16, Barbarous ZX, Cup of Squid, Random Person 4122, Just Another Clone, Matt, Matty Rins, 
Lord Natario, Shadow, Shada the Rampage, Radis, Void Heart, Dumb Reject, Mad Wombat Man, Nerd, Nerdy Notion Z, Irwin, Elf, Dark Magic, Pez, Crow the Immortal, A Broken Tabaxi, Abdi123, and those are all our subs. Thank you so much, guys. Now let's get back to the bits. All right, this is next week for the 500 bits. My ranger did the same thing. Aggroed one mob, panicked, and ran to the next room. Aggroed everything in there, panicked, and ran to the closet where he got KO'd by an animated broom. Oof. That's rough, yep. buddy. Well, fish bones. So, okay, Samurai, I think it was one of the bits. I want to thank Meister Worst for the 500 bits. Bits for the underwater adventures. Well, thank you. Drag stun, think of the hundred. Think of the bits as well. Lone Wolf Lord for the 1,000 bits. I saw the read of a bloody roar. Ed voicing my favorite, You Go the Wolf. Look out for the full moon. Arr! Lone Wolf Lord with 1,000 bits. Props to you for your VO. Destroyer 777, thank you for the bits. I want to thank as well Faceless42 for the bits. I want to thank Robate for the 10,000 bits. And Probate's had a rough go of it lately, too. Oh, I probate, may have been yeah. knocked down, but I am not out. And that's Atta what Probate's, boy, probate. me that's oh, what yeah, probate's message said. Hell and that, yeah, dude. Good energy good from that, man. Probate. And we're glad you're here, man. We're glad you're not out. For real. All righty. Thank you so much for the 10,000 bits, though, guys. Guys, let's snap for probate. It's been a while since yeah. we snapped. It's so hot in this booth. Help. Open Is the door. Already? Yes. I told you you could open the door. Open the I door. Know. Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the bits. I want to thank Lord Gam. <laughs> But the bits finally found you guys on Halloween. I've been catching you guys live for the past two months. Both work and streams canceled have tried to stop me, but I'm here! Lord Gam, damn, that's commitment. Thank you so much. Iron Eye Herjar, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, Drag Stun, thank you for the bits. Maverick, thank you for the bits. FS Dara, thank you for the 1,200 bits. Luck on your rolls, you glorious people. I am so excited to catch you live. I'm, I'm so excited to catch you guys live once again. Thank you all for the amazing stories and content. Well, thank you so much for swinging on by and Karen, man. Brody, what do you think of the 500, bitch? I'll be playing Stardew Valley while watching the stream. Monty, have you checked out the new island? Huh? There's a new island in Stardew Valley. Oh, I, I haven't. I've been playing Pokemon. I'm sorry. There's Nia also the, a Nia, board game. Nia and the Mantid. Uh, I like to boo ya. Agent Shy, thank you for the 500 bits. Borky and Goofball, what Barbarian, was, Freckles, the that, edgy Connor? Weeb Rogue. Panic the fun, haha, <laughs> Bard. Task the grumpy, funny dad ranger. Remy, the more than an NPC fight. Seika, cat will hire than a 10 monk. And Monty, the voice of the wonderful world. Thanks you all for making us all laugh. Well, thank Wait, you. what was I? I was uh, you, 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 were, you were Freckles, the edgy Weeb. I was just attacked. Ah, this is correct. This is correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just attacked. Black Affair with Elite Bits. Killing oh. an evil wall with a level 3 fire spell. Dead House Fireaga. Uh, yeah, but Mark, is it an insult if it's true? You can mm. leave again, Bosco. Yeah. Captain Undead with a 1500 bits to Mark and Zito. Best of witches to you both. Best of witches. Best of witches, actually. I will take the best of witches, honestly. Jack Dupree. Thank you. To the end of the month, but uh, I'm still off work to the end of the month, but I'm going to go throw you guys some bits. We'll take you the 500 bits, but take care of yourself first and foremost. Thank you so much. Uh, the Fat Man streams. Thank you for the bits. Uh, a broken tabaxi. Thank you guys for all you guys do. You guys got me into D&D. Oh, well, thank you so much for checking us out. Flub. 1,050 bits. No message. <laughs> Just flub. Thanks so much. Love it. Uh, the Ursane Magster with a 1,000 bits. Guys, please survive and bring the funnies. I had to... Oh, I'm very sorry to hear about your loss, but uh, we, uh, our heart goes with you, uh, the Ursine Master. Uh, Zen Lita, thank you so much for the bits as well. A 20BMG. Uh, thank you so much for the bits. Uh, bits to hopefully counter at roll 20 for the week. It's impossible. <laughs> Connor's here. I don't know what he's done to upset it, but Connor has upset roll 20 in a way that no one has ever achieved before. Uh, the Magic Ninja Gomez Kirby Moore. Thank you so much, Ravioli. Ravioli. And thank you so much, guys. Oz 195 with the 10 subs gifted to the whole chat. God damn, if you were gifted a sub by Oz 195, you best to be thanking them because that is 10 subs. Gifted to the community. Hot damn. Art and Salt, thank you as well uh, for the bits. I also want to thank everybody. Oh, we got a couple more here to read off. We're almost done. Uh, happy nobody. Still making rounds after work over time at a wing joint on the Super Bowl to support all my favorite shows. Well, take care of yourself first and foremost, man. Uh, the Blind Kid, Fish Nicks, Nettle Norse Man, Lord Phantasma. Thank you so much for the subs, guys. Art and Salt, thank you for the su sub as well. I want to thank Link's Flame for the 1,000. It's been working on ton of, a ton extra, so have some of my overtime bits. Well, thank you, Link's Flame. It's very kind of you. Uh, Cosmosis, thank you as well. And Maida Berry, thank you as well. And the Armored Owl, thank you for the sub. And that is it. We are all caught up according to this. Okay, let me turn off my uh, playlist of many thoughts head full. Close that up. 
Um, before we start, actually, we have a bit of an announcement um, that we need to make before we start. It's, it's all good. Um, so for those of you guys who are not aware, um, on Fridays, we, we usually would have a art stream where we, uh, well, Connor would go through the artwork that was sent to us through the Twitter account. Um, and those are actually coming to an end. The last one is going to be this coming Friday. It's going to be the last art stream. Uh, because hopefully by the third, um, if not later, we're hoping to have a uh, fan art showcase live on stream. Uh, we won't be going through each art piece like we did with the art stream itself, but we're going to be showcasing the art during the opening, the uh, middle, and the end. Um, so any fan art sent to us that is appropriate and is we're able to edit into um, a, a viewable and comfortable um, like presentation. Resolution. Yeah, resolution presentation uh, will be added to the slideshow. We will be rotating art every three weeks. So it'll always be fresh and new art coming in. Um, and okay. so it's going to be a bit of a change. Uh, but the, the benefits of this is that one, uh, the artwork is going to be seen by all of you lovely people because we do appreciate the fan artists who have done fan art for us. Um, and also it'll be archived for on the YouTube from now on. Uh, which will be very nice. So um, thank you guys so much. Also, uh, shout out to Heartsy, who's going to be editing our our, uh, our slideshows from now on. Um, and yes, it'll be missed. It was it was you know kind of part of us for a while, but I think this is a step in the right direction. So that's just an announcement to make. Also, there was a bit of confusion. People thought we weren't going to do anything with fan art anymore. That is incorrect. Uh, we're still going to be retweeting fan art, um, and we will still be we'll be trying to collect as much fan art we can to display uh, weekly. So um, look forward to that. Um, uh, quick question. Yes. Uh, what about because I've seen some people ask about this. What about music and animations? Uh, so I, I I can't I don't want to be like a hype man for a video game and overcommit. But so far, Heartsea has been able to take off videos and turn them into gifts, and then put that into the slideshow. Um, okay. so, so far there is kind of a, a way to do it. It's just difficult because of Twitter's nonsense. Um, but mm -hmm. and there the is a way to do it. Get lost. That's going to happen. Yes. And if your art doesn't make it in, it's not because we hate you. Maybe there was a problem and complication in getting the art, editing the art, having it resized. That's just kind of part of it. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind when you submit art. Uh, but yes. We appreciate it and normally see everything, but we can't fit it all on one screen. Well, and yeah. the other thing, too, is that when you guys post it on Twitter and other social media, we see it. We like, do. We'll see it individually, but we, also, but we completely see it. We also send it to each other in the actual show mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. channel. Mm -hmm. So just keep that in mind. Um, Mark, I think there's like a fan or there's something going off in your No, background. there is it... some It's me on just... fire! <laughs> there's somebody driving up and down the street. In oh, like okay. a, a sport bike. I don't know what's going on. Oh, but. okay, okay. It sounded yeah. like a fan or a hissing noise. But <sighs> all right, are we dying? Are we, are we ready? Are we ready? Did you <laughs> open the door? I, I, I did. <laughs> okay, God. You, you, you might. Now. I'll just say this, body. You might hear me have to like you know open the door so I could breathe oxygen again. That literally, like when when Mark was like, "Oh, I'll have Zeta record in my studio." I'm just like, he's gonna get spicy in there. It's gonna get hot in there. I have like, him how to resolve the situation. What are lungs? I don't have them. <laughs> there's there's literally holes for air in that room. Like, they are like so suffocate. tiny. It's like putting grasshoppers in a jar. Yeah, he's got some holes. Yeah, they'll survive. He'll be fine. Guys. Don't worry about it. All right, let's get started here. All right. All right. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. All y'all, all y'all, jump out. Yes, ma'am. I've been out since we said we were starting five. Okay, minutes. Mark, you don't have to be such an overachiever. Calm down. I just, I need to beat Ed today. So. I oh, look at you. <laughs> can we please continue so I can die? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. When last we left our heroes, Remy, the Kenku fighter, Task, the Cobalt Ranger, Panic, the Tiefling Bard, Borky, the Orc mm, Barbarian, <laughs> Breckles, the very squishy and murderable, and newfound friend in Seika, the Fire Ganassi Monk, the party is now deep in the elemental plane of water, both metaphorically and literally. Now delving into the Colent Sea Goblin base of the Abyssal Trench, the party hopes to find and destroy Kozui, the Sharp Oni of Water and save Princess Glacia, the true water Ganassi ruler of the Coral Citadel. As the party descends into the narrow chambers of the Abyssal Trenches, a plan to trick a barracks full of sea goblins has gone awry, leaving poor Greckles in the middle of a goblin horde, the party in a tight hallway, and panic an octopus. 
So as we return to the unexpectables, we will start by rolling for initiative. I wow. like how I don't even. I love how I don't even have a class anymore. It's just no, you are the dead, just squishy and killable. To be, to be fair, we had we had one where I just said Remy in a very monotone tone. So you Remy. know, Remy, Remy, Orky the Orky, cast a cold rager, Remy, <laughs> panic the tiefling bard. Uh, the only way it could actually. Well, well, Monty, how do you is... like this for size? That's a uh, soft twenty for Remy. Okay. Let me know 16. if the music works. That's a uh, 27 for Jesus. Seika. Finally. Woo. So 17. you can take all your never rolls above 10 memes and shove them. You just fucked yourself. I know. I'm going first, <laughs> which means I won't There's hit no anything. There's no chance going to roll a bunch of one tonight. <laughs> no also, way. So that is, that is not a 12, by the way. That is a... Oh, oh jeez. Are you oh, sure? Shit. It's it's eight. You're a, yeah, because you're an octopus. I'm an octopus. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So that's gonna be Remy, and then it's gonna be Task, and then Borg. I'm even lower on the totem pole. And then that's gonna be uh, Taz or Borg. What happens if you transform back, though? Eh. He loses he six uh, feet back to normal. He loses uh, six arms. I would have, I would have still yeah. rolled an eight. And I still. So uh, that's what I, I was just, I didn't know how initiative would Jim jam. So. All right, let's roll for the boys. Let's roll it for the boys. Rolling it for the boys. To oh, clarify, I... did we all realize uh, something went south or are we still going by the Yeah, time? the goblins are now shrieking and okay. any of that were asleep are now awake. So, <laughs> as we start <laughs> the combat, Seika, it is now your turn. Um... Uh, how can I? I can't see down this hallway, can I? It is dark. Do you have dark vision? I do. Okay, then you, you're able to see as but long like as you're not around the corner, right? No, you're gonna have to run down the hallway to see fully what's going on. And also, panics above so, the ceiling, so you can see past them. Yeah. Hearing hearing people uh, screeching, uh, say moved around the corner. Let me make sure I can actually do this full motion here, real quick. Do. Yeah, we're good. So he'll have moved around the corner to see what's going on. Uh, see what is happening here with bad dude shrieking at my friend. I don't move here. <laughs> I'd say I'd say I'm not going to make you roll for it, but I feel like you're able to discern who is Greckles based off of the dynamic right now between these two entities. And the I fact think we that also saw him. Uh, his hand's going through Greckles. Yeah, and his hand, yeah. the other goblin's hand is going through Greckles' disguise. Like, models kind of clash. He is fucking again. no clipping through Greckles right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, maybe don't do that. Um, because I'm gonna have to punch you. <laughs> and miss. Yep. You go swimming forward, and you're just not used to the feeling of water. You're still feeling awful and terrible, and you go to punch, but it's, there's half of an effort because you're like, wait, is it Greckles? You kind of pull your punch a little bit. Well, now that I know it's not Greckles, I'm going to punch for real this time. The That's other one was nice. posing. How could you not tell? <laughs> so, that, 20. that hits. All right. For real this time. Five damage. Five damage. Yeah. You 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 go the first time and you just kind of hesitate and the second time you're like no 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 that's Greckles and you just swing and you clock this thing in the face. You watch as pieces of coral break off of its cheek and kind of spray into the water near it, almost like glitter. And uh, I will spend a key to stunning strike him because get your hand out, my boy. Okay. That is a Constitution saving sir. throw. Yes. Needs to beat a 13. That is a, a soft 20, 19. What Sorry. a dick. Yeah. Still, get your hand out, my boy. <laughs> and that's my turn. All right. That brings us around to Remy. You hear chaos and you just immediately see Seika, who's next to you, just bolt around the corner. Uh, I am going to double move to here. Uh, okay. I am then going to call out, Greckles, get behind me. Uh, and he's going to get an attack of opportunity as I take a five foot step back. Uh. How smart is this guy? They're moderately smart. He's still glitching he through reality right now. He's holding on to Greckles. He's not going to take a swing at you. All right. Well, then I'm going to stay here. All right. Sorry, I rolled an intelligence check to see if he would calculate that to see if that was worth it. He's the like, no. Brain. Yeah. 
These guys aren't as stupid as normal goblins. Hmm. That, that ends your turn, Remy? Yep. Okay, that brings us around to task. It is now your turn. <laughs> uh, let me double check how far I can move. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, one, Go to Kobold Ranger. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I could make it to here. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, oh. Can I toss a dart at this dude? Um, I don't think he's within your... Yeah, you're unfortunately there's a wall blocking you. Ew. You could dash with an action and then offhand throw a dart at him if you were to... You can occupy the same space as Panic, I'd say. Right here? Yeah, because Panic's so on let, the roof. Let, yeah. Let's pretend that I'm underneath Panic right now. Yeah, yeah, we'll say that. All right, uh, offhand dart. Here I go. What, what does that mean for me again? Because I don't do offhand. Uh, so it basically means that your uh, modifier won't apply to the damage. So go, just go you're ahead and roll dart. Without and then, your proficiency. Yeah, you're gonna get the bonus to hit, but. Nineteen. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. So this is. Two. It's gonna be two, two points of damage to him. Yep. So as this thing is kind of fighting and struggling between the three of your companions and like really holding on to Greckles and just like screaming out stuff in Goblin, you throw a dart and it kind of launches through the water and it hits this thing in the cheek and it just grabs and rips it out of its cheek and kind of like, and kind of wipes at its face. It's just a streak of black kind of reddish black blood just oozing into the water. That brings us to Borky. It is now your turn. Okay, so I'm in a I'm in a kind of a pickle here. I don't quite know what to do. I uh Borky is gonna be like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, what's going on? Panic, panic, please move. Panic, can you panic? Panic's move? on the roof. You can you can go the ceiling. I am gonna split all on the ceiling. All right, Sanka, Sanka, once you're done, Rule I'd me. like to step in. Well, you could uh you could go around because you're these are all your allies, so you could go here if you want to. Okay, hold on, let me let me see this here. Then let me let me map this out properly because that changes this. This man's Five. about to get oh. 15. He's going to have a bad day. 25. Ah, fuck. I, right here would be 40. Right where oh, Greckles okay. is. Right there would be 40. Yeah, so I'm going to have to stay there, unfortunately. You can, That's go, you can go here, can't you? It's through a wall. No, it's, no, that's a wall. No, through, yeah. I figured that was uh, unmovable. Oh, so geez. that's it. Yeah. That's it for that's it for my turn. Okay. Greckles, it is now your turn. You are technically oh, grappled right now. Me. So can I pivot around the threat the 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 combat space uh not I, when you're I, grappled your movement is zero you cannot move right now okay so movement is what else is grappled it's movement zero is there anything else mm -mm. it's okay. acrobatics your or movement. athletics to get out yeah you need to use your you have to use athletics when you're actually caught you cannot ah, use okay, acrobatics right. to get out it's only when you first are contesting you can use acrobatics I'm trying to think um would there be any checks made if there was an attack against the grappler? No, nope, or it's no. Okay. There's no disadvantage. It's just your movement is just zero. All right. Well, let's see if I can get squirmy. I'm gonna double check it just to be a hundred percent, so that way the enemy I mean, doesn't yell at me. If a knife goes in your face, hmm. grapple. No, I, a grapple. I, I, yeah, a grappled creature's speed becomes zero, and it can't gain, and gain any benefit from its bonus to its speed. The condition ends if the grappler is incapacitated. The condition also ends if an effect removes the grappled creature from the reach of the grappler or grappling effect, such as you know gotcha. being moved. So sure. okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, you're you're okay was... to attack if you want to. Uh, but would would it take an action to try and break the grapple? Yes. Okay, so let me do that. And it was acrobatics or athletics. It Not has to athletics. be athletics to break. Yeah. <sighs> Because the idea with acrobatics is that you kind of dodge yeah, out of the way of them grabbing out. you, but when you're actually caught, you have to like physically get away from them. So that's the difference there. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. You know what? I mm, I'm gonna do one better. Uh. Let's see. I think I can. Yes, I sure can. Um. With one hand, he brings up he he brings up his now exposed talent to his beak. And, and whispers, Mutonujutsu, and I'm gonna cast, uh, or excuse me, Shushinujutsu, cast Misty Step, because I have that. Okay, yeah, that would break the grapple. Get oh, hacked, what? my guy. Where are you going? Uh, 30 feet, um. <laughs> are, are you okay, Connor? Yep. All right. Um. You know what? I will. I'll just go here. Okay. Just you. It's ten feet, but whatever. 
yeah, you ten feet out and just boom, boom, out of the way and like re you kind of stick between the between uh, Task and Borky. Ooh. And the sea goblin like hand kind of clasps and it Ooh. and kind of turns towards the rest of you now. Um, um so that was action. Um Misty Step is a bonus action. Oh, that's right, it is a bonus action. Um <clears throat> In that case, can I attack before doing that? Can I? Will you let me retro? Sure, I'll let retro. you retro that. Yeah, because you didn't know. Okay. So, out comes the sunblade bubbling in the water. It's not hot. It's radiant. Oh, that's that's fair. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah, twelve. Doesn't hit. You go and swing, and the the weapon just hits coral armor, and you're like, God, and you pull back, and you see the goblin just like almost ready to like reach for you, and then you <laughs> misty step out. <laughs> Okay. Remember, right, I'm uh, that... actually there. I'm actually underneath panic. Oh, that's right. Then I'll I'll occupy your space if that's okay. Then I will move over this way. Okay. okay. Oh no, I'm gone. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know where you are. Oh no. So we say goodbye. All right. It is now the enemy's turn. Fuck. Um. Immediately, the one immediately in front of you, say, cause is going to disengage because it knows that it's surrounded. And it's going to run back 30 feet, uh, screaming all the while. <laughs> <laughs> Not like screaming in fear, but like rallying the troops. Gotcha. Um, immediately. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Let me just read some abilities here really quickly. I can't believe I've been telefragged. <laughs> I can believe it, but you just get words. absorbed into your friends. All right. So immediately, this goblin is going to rush you, Remy, with a trident raised. He's going to charge into you. Uh, it's going to be an 18 to hit. That'll miss. Okay. He throws this, the trident. You bring up your shield and kong, it makes this clanging noise. The second goblin turns the corner and is going to swing at you, Seika. Uh, that is going to be also an 18, same roll. That'll hit me. Okay. <clears throat> you take five points of piercing damage. Oh, wait, he used two hands. Never mind, I used the wrong dice. Uh, that's the same roll. You take five points of piercing damage uh, as they stab you with this trident. Sir? ask you to step back. Sir, this, this next, is an Applebee's. <laughs> this next goblin is going to attack you, Remy. Can he attack around the corner if you can't move around yes. the corner? Okay. You can attack them as well. You just can't attack when you're one space away, so. Uh, natural 20. Oh! Gonna miss. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Sure, man. Sure. <laughs> Oh, that's such a sad roll. Uh, you take eight points of piercing damage as he stabs you in the side, and you guys begin to see like reddish blood leak through the water from Remy's side. The goblin that woke up, these guys were awake when they, the alarm was going off. He's gonna run over bleary eyed. He's gonna like swim over and he's gonna stab at you, Seika. Can you that's just. 14 to hit? That will miss. Thank okay. God. <laughs> This guy used his action. Uh, Remember, chat, wibbly screaming. 15. It's just, it's just the, the squid kids from Splatoon talking. This, uh, this goblin is going to throw his trident, I think. Hmm. Is he? No, he's gonna, he's gonna move into position to be able to throw his trident though. So he's gonna move up two spaces. Uh, this goblin is going to move into a better position to throw his trident. Uh, he's going to throw his trident at you, Seika. I just tried to do my civic duty. 21. These goblins are on fire. Ouch. Jesus. That's uh, ironic. Uh, the water goblins attack. are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, that is going to be six points of piercing damage to you. And then he moved, he moved, he moved. This guy here. There's a spear in my side. 20. Yeah, he'll do that. 
Uh, as he throws the spear at you, you watch as he pulls a rope and it pops out and comes back into his hand. Uh, oh, he's got magic shit. Oh, no, cool. it's it's a rope. They just like literally oh, okay, have a rope okay, okay. Yeah, the <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm so used to that express that uh, description is like Being oh magic returning. weapon. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's not magical. Uh, oh, awful. That's a that's a five to hit you, Seika. That will miss. Yeah, the other one throws a try and completely miss and just pulls it back. Uh, these guys here are going to this guy's going to move over here. Uh, actually, you can see Remy. He's gonna throw a trident at Remy. Uh, wow, eleven. That's gonna miss. This guy, though. Ooh, I actually have a question for you. Mm-hmm. I totally forgot about this. Uh, do thrown tridents count as missiles? They count hmm. as ranged weapons. So for yeah, for catching so it with your missiles should have triggered. They could have, yeah, but you forgot. So next time. <laughs> yeah. Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. You can that use it on javelins damage, and stuff. So, I need to remember that. Let's see. Uh, 20, that's going to be 30. This goblin rounds the corner, and he is buffer and stronger looking than the other goblins. Oh, he's mm. a hob goblin. Uh, okay, he is going to stay there. These guys are gonna wake up because they were alerted. Sorry, there's a lot of enemies. 20, 10. This guy is gonna run right up here. I did not These... realize we were entering the halls of Moria. Yeah, right. Fool of a took. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just point out that Mary really did fuck up everybody? He, oh, yeah. In that yeah, scenario. No, <laughs> Mary really did botch down. everything. He botched Mary the whole... Is Mary botched like all the fellowship. <laughs> he watched all that's a nat one. Didn't he botch then... the third book, too? <laughs> no, that's different. You watch us running himself. around the hallway corner are two more really buff-looking sea goblins. No! So many. Yeah. 20. I didn't realize 20. it was open gym. That was Pippin, right. Sorry. <laughs> All what? right, that ends the Sea Goblin's turn. That brings us around to Panic, who is an octopus. Oh, God. Okay. So we've established that I am on the ceiling at the moment, right? You are on the ceiling, yes. And all of these goblins are on the floor at the moment, right? Uh, they're varying. Um... So if I were to go, say, right here, would any of them get opportunity attacks on me? I'm going to say uh, no. Excellent. Then I'll yeah. do that. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> Octo dad your way on the roof. And, and you and, you, uh, oh. and as I slowly descend, uh I'm gonna look at them with my big old goofy eyes and I'm gonna go <laughs> <laughs> and release a huge cloud of ink. Oh, oh no, he ink the board with a reverb spell! <laughs> Connor, Connor, you may get one use of your of your soundboard. <laughs> I was not expecting to see the part with the reverb. That was this is where, you, exactly. this is where you're like, you start seeing the person walk close, like very slowly to the bathroom with tiny little baby steps. Can you, can you make a mark of 20 feet around you, please? Yes. Here I we go. To, I want is... to commend you on your ability to like reproduce that with only your voice, though, because that was pretty damn. <laughs> that was pretty authentic, man. <laughs> I've had practice. <laughs> so, so uh, and it does go around corners. So this entire area is just black. Yeah, it's just you guys watch as you see the sea goblins like swimming and approaching, and you just see like a little form, a little black and yellow octopus like slap across the ceiling, and then just dispense ink. <laughs> dispense. Uh, the area is heavily obscured for one minute, though a significant current can disperse the ink. Uh, oh, and after use, after releasing the ink, the octopus can use the DAS action as a bonus action. And I think I'll do just that. <laughs> Probably okay. a good idea. I, I, I uh, like to imagine in Squid, he just went, Frog off! Go to flashbang! Good uh, I will then, I will then squish myself back up to the ceiling. Okay. Um, And there's a lot going on over here, so I'm just gonna... Blue, blue, blue. You you immediately blue? hear just like shouting. Like the big buff goblins are now shouting. 
Um, does anybody speak Goblin? I think I asked this last nope. session. Nope. Okay. So you I have chose no idea giant. What's being said. They're not by Damn. any chance speaking primordial language, are they? No, they're not. Okay. And I'd ask. that well, was a they... free action. So for my action. Oh Jesus! Is it? Yeah. It doesn't say. Uh, it is an action. The inclout. The inclout is under the actions. It's... Is it? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. All right. In cloud well, recharges guess... after a short or long rest. <laughs> it's an action. Guess, guess I'll just have done that then. Hey, that's Sorry. a lot. That, that's does a lot. That, that, that is like an obstruction, right? That you can't I, see I released my payload right you in the middle of the room. See. So <laughs> if you're in the ink cloud, any attack rolls you make are with disadvantage. And we can't see anyone inside the ink cloud. Either. And you cannot see anyone inside the ink cloud, and they cannot see you anymore. Cool. So anyone coming in the room will be like, what the fuck's happening? I mean, they already saw what's going on in here. Suspense. Yeah, and now they're wondering what the fuck is happening. Yeah. All right, uh, Seika, go ahead, and it is now your turn. Man, I wish I could, like, flip, like, judo flip this guy into the center between Greckles, Borky, and Remy. That would be amazing. Uh, unfortunately, that is not something you can do. There are abilities no. that, like, there are feats that can kind of do that, but unfortunately, yeah, you're a bit at the mercy of... I am not a grapple of... monk. I can't do it. No. Uh, so I'm going to have to just punch. All right. Where are you punching? You have, you have, four, you have three right targets. right in front of me. Okay. And I'm missing. You go to punch, and you, you completely whiff it. And I will punch again. Yeah! And nice. There you go. go. There we go. Oh my god, it's happening. For real damage, 12 damage. 12 Let's go. points of damage, hot damn. Yeah, you <laughs> you absolutely deck this guy in the face. Sorry, that's 12 points, he's gonna bring him down to that. You like, you watch as the sea goblin comes in and stabs you with the trident. You just like take your back arm and you just kind of back hand with your, with your forearm and just bash this guy. They have like this sort of hardened, almost similar to, you know, Tien goes like, he kind of has like a weird spiky facial hair. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like that, but as you hit it, it's solid. It's like coral. It seems to be like, so it's, like, a, okay. I was it's kind of like a yeah, calcium okay. sort of like growth and you just his head and like those just break. Like almost like sea urchin spines, Ooh, and he's just you're like scaling a Keurig right now. <laughs> yeah, it's like he, you see him grab his chin. You can just see almost like exposed antler, like where an antler breaks. You just see blood oozing out. It's horrible, and he is very upset. Uh, well, uh, then I'm going to offhand as a as a, as a fist. Okay, fist. fist. Go ahead. And miss. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, you swing again, and he just like kind of brings up the triad and blocks the hit. All right, that ends your turn, Seika. That's it, yeah. All right, Remy, it's now your mm -hmm. turn. Uh, Remy's gonna call out, focus your fire. We have to whittle them down or they'll surround us. And he's gonna attack the one in front of Seika. Okay. With Booming Blade. 24. Okay, that hits, yeah. Five plus six, so 11. 11 points of damage, very nice. Still you up. bring down, and it's interesting because Booming Blade, it sounds like a depth charge going off. It's like, boom, there's no real sound to it. It's very, like, usually it makes a loud noise, but not under here. It's almost deafened a little bit, but it vibrates out, and you can see some of the other goblins kind of kind of recoiling back from the impact. Still up? Yeah, he's still standing. All right, swing again. Uh, Ten. Misses, unfortunately. All right, that's turn. All right, that brings us around to task. It is now your turn. You are you swimming. Give me like please. Okay. I mean, I'm Wait. not. I'm, I'm gone. Not what the fuck happened? You you are were you deleted. Wait, was... Oh my god! Wait, you're, Wait, where right you go? you're gone. He was right behind Borky. What happened? There you go. Come, Come back, Kaish. Under, under panic somehow. He's like, screw you guys. I'm going to safety. Bye. You can just. You can drag drag his token. Here you go. And, I got um, him. Don't worry. Relax. Go. I got awesome. him. Okay. Thank I you. Would <laughs> like, I would like to be under uh, under him now. All right. No, uh, so I'm gonna fucking throw more darts at the guy in front of Seika. All right. Yes. Very very slowly. All right. Uh, I did have to restart roll twenty. So give me a second. No worries. No worries. And kablam. That one. Ooh, I'm gonna roll severity. Ooh. High severity. Oh no! 
Uh, go ahead and roll damage for me. Alright. Seika, you take eight points of piercing uh, damage. I'm gonna have to use my reaction to deflect that. Okay. I have to. <laughs> so let me roll a d10 plus my dex plus my monk level. So that is, oh boy, d10 plus 13. I think that means it's gonna automatically go off because it's only eight points of piercing damage. Yeah, you uh, catch the dart. I can catch it. Do you want to use a key point to throw it back at Task? Can I actually <laughs> throw it at somebody else? Uh, does it specify that you can do that in the ability? Uh, it says if you reduce the damage to zero, uh, you can catch the missile. If you catch it in this way, you can spend one key point to make a ranged attack with the weapon or piece of ammunition you just caught as part of the same reaction. It does not specify target. Okay. So where do you want to? We already want to throw. You have it. You have it in front of you. Yeah, right at the one right in front of me. Okay, this will be a disadvantage because you're throwing into melee. Um, okay. Uh, so it's just a ranged attack, right? That's just. E. Yep. E. D20 plus that. 15? Ooh. No, 15. 13. 13. Uh, unfortunately, 13 just misses. Yeah, I'm figured. so sorry. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> that was the you one watch one. Task, Task, you throw it and you're like, shit. And you watch a Seika, like, just doesn't even look, grabs it and tries to throw it forward. And it, it like, the goblin's like, ah, and just completely misses it, flies past his head into, like, the oh, Thank ink. God. Th now I could use my other arm to just fling the second dart. If you would have that, that one hits. again, I would have been so upset. Oh, dude, I would be upset too. What are you fucking kidding me? You, I would give you all props to throw it back at my face. Seven. You, you freak out about the first one. You're like, oh, you shake your head and you throw the second one and it lands into the chest of this thing. It's looking terrible, uh, but it is still standing. Uh, bonus action, Hunter's Mark on him. Okay. He is Hunter's Marked. Oh, wait, then. Colossus Slayer. Oh, oh right, yeah. yeah. Ooh. For all that damage. Yay! Save your hunter's mark, cause he's <gasps> dead. <laughs> Yay! Yeah! Oh no, just pass it. Whoop. Pass it on to the guy in front of Remy. Alright, I'm gonna just delete the bodies just to clear up some space. Sure, sure thing. Remove flesh. Alright, he is gone. That brings us that ends your turn task? That's turn. Orky, it's now your turn. There's a free opening and darkness ahead of you. <laughs> weapon of choice starts playing and I just start killing them all. <laughs> My weapon of choice. We could go with this. Just sit in people's chairs and shit. <laughs> all right. Uh, Borky's going to... Excuse me, say coke! And Borky slides in. Borky's going to go into a rage immediately. All right. You go into a rage. <laughs> what weapon are you using? Oh, and this is what's being very curious because I'm wondering if it's a good idea to use my big two hander in this scenario. Uh, you would have disadvantage because it's not a weapon that works underwater. It's the surround. So, what I am thinking here is I'm thinking about hitting them with this. Instead, I'm going to give them a. I just, I just don't want to have to. I do have my great axe. I've always had my that, great axe. That also, that also will have disadvantage. Okay, I have my magical, cool underwater sword here. Let me type it out real fast. It works uh -huh. underwater. No you problem. You guys had one once at the beginning of the game. Remember that? I mean, you got, I had a, got I had millions a of spears. Didn't you know this would happen in 155 episodes, Kurt? No. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got, you've, you've, you've got billions of spears to work with. I do have billions of spears, but I'm now on melee range because I'm trying to block off our guys you here. Can so you can use this right here as a melee uh, weapon. It's not Wait. a javelin, it's a spear. Can, can yeah, I use a hand? Can, a simple one-handed hand axe. Is that no. going to... That's, you use a spear. Spears don't get disadvantage underwater. Spear! Okay. I hit the one that's injured already. Oh. <laughs> Natural, do you? Okay. Yeah! Do you? Also, Three. Three, you just it's missed. How about it? It's weird. It's very weird. Do it again! Okay, I'm gonna go into a, Okay, so Balky's gonna try a second time now. Oh, that was okay, 23. That hits, that hits. That is, um, that's six damage plus three, that's nine damage. Nine points of damage, this guy. He is dead. <gasps> wow, yes! guys! Oh, Fuck the guy it. with Hunter's Mark is dead? Yeah, yeah. this guy died, so... Uh, pass it on to the one next to him to the left. All right. Shoo! There you go, Forky. You just rip. You just slice the goblin clean in half. 
Find stuff there. Borky's just taking a look at the spear. <laughs> so, Borky, uh, that ends his turn. I have two attacks. So. All right, that ends your turn. That brings us around to Greckles. It is now your turn. If I move just in front of Task, would I be able to see the Hunter Smart uh, Goblin to Remy's oh. right? Uh, I'm going to say because it does hit the wall, I'm going to say no. You, it, yeah, I, mm, I don't use cover. Right. I mean, I'll, I'll say this just, but you could take it for what you will, Monty. I remember Hunter's Mark, I flavored it as it's a giant glowing, like upside down arrowhead on the target. Yeah, it's just more if Greckles moves here, if you can see him. Can you uh, pass it to more you know than what? one person? You know what? Turn? Because beca because he can he can hit Remy from this position, I will say yes, you can hit him from that position. Uh, okay. On, on Monster's Death, I could push it onto someone as a free target. As a bonus action. Oh, right. fuck. Mm. Oh. All right, well. It's, it's still okay. up. You can just you can just pass it. Yeah, you will have to yeah, pass yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like, I, I, I was just right worried. Now. Does that mean I'm wasting a spell slot? No, it's still it's still you're still concentrating on it. It just Ooh, you're not something else. Okay. Yeah, you're not marked something at the current juncture. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. All right, okay. Greckles, what you doing? I will take that five foot step and I'm going to launch Todd at the uh, forehead of the one that is besieging Remy. Okay. Go ahead and roll to hit. Go, Todd. Fuck you, Nick! That hits. Ooh. Good job, Todd. And, and you get sneak attack damage. Two plus. Here we go. That's a lot. That's 20. Dead. Dead. Jesus. Okay, 29. Dead. Gone. Evis like, you literally, you literally, it's the first time you've ever thrown a dagger at something and it's actually gone through the head. Oh, and, Jesus. like, you see it go past in the water and, like, whoa! And you, like, call back. You call it was Todd, right? Yeah, you threw Todd. Yeah. And Todd, you hear Todd go, what the fuck? And then, like, it's just, like, freaking out. <laughs> Greckles <laughs> looks down at his hands, and now that the bloodshed has been saved, he's like, oh, my God, this is epic. Uh, I'm is someone amazing. keeping track of how many times <laughs> Todd is winning and Nick is losing? Someone needs to keep a tally. <laughs> <laughs> we need to figure out who is superior at the end of um, all of this. I will take a five-foot step. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a five-foot step over to the... Because I, I was I was here. I'm gonna take a five foot step over here, um, and same rule supply I assume for the other. Whoa, nope, nope, nope. For the other sea goblin that is besieging Borky. Uh, in what regard? Sorry. To attack, for an offhand. Oh yeah, you, you you can attack him with an offhand. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Nick. Let's see what you can do. No, oh, yeah, okay. Nick. Fuck you, Todd. And he goes. Go ahead and roll damage. So this is one point. Or yeah, one Woo! point. Hey, you know what? It opens up. It opens up for task. I'm happy with that. It's, Hell it's yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah. And I All will. Right. I will take my five foot step back. It is now the sea goblins' turns. You hear more goblin yeah. being shouted. Um. Okay. These guys are not stupid. They're also really well organized. We noticed. Uh, <laughs> and blind. <laughs> Some of them are, but they, they have a good sense of direction. But they can't all fit in the combat space. I mean, they live here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking what they would do, because we're being this ordered right now. This is a hostile right takeover. <laughs> There's our house now. <laughs> they step out of the darkness and see Borky. I uh, step back into the darkness. Uh, Christ, this sea goblin is him. lost. He's gonna run into the wall. This guy had a pretty good sense. He's, he's, his head's Ow. sticking out. Um, I feel like he would know where to go. Because he was very close. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say he'll move into this unoccupied space here. He's not gonna provoke attacks of opportunity. Uh, and he's going to flank with his buddy and he's gonna attack you, Borky. Attack oh, you now. Come on now, come on now. Oh, Rage. pathetic. That's so sad. That's a nine. That's going to miss completely. Oh, yeah. He, yeah goes, gonna... he goes to the trident and he like goes to stab you, but he like hits the big shell on your back that has all the spears in it. And like it just clunk hits your back and you're like, huh? And you turn around, you see the goblin there like, Rah! like looking up at you because you're way bigger than these things. Um, <laughs> These guys, by order of their leader, know to charge forward. So they are going to do so. Oh, man, we're really this, meat grinder. This, like, like, I, I have a solution, but I'm just scared of making an explosion. Fif Fifteen to hit Remy. <laughs> no. This guy is going to move forward. Uh, he's still technically in the clouds. So he's going to have disadvantage on the attack he against Borky. Uh, 
that is going to be 12 to hit you, Borky. Kurt. Kurt? Yes, it I does that's not hit me. It's a miss. Okay. It does not hit me. It does not hit me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like running into the... oh, does... I didn't know if it was a trick question or not. No. Okay. This guy is going to charge in. Um, you can't really see him. No, it's okay. Since he's in the darkness, does he get? Does he lose? Does he? Uh... He has disadvantage, disadvantage on attacks. So, okay. but the same goes for you guys. If you attack the people in the cloud, you also mm -hmm. have disadvantage. It goes attack both ways. Attack the darkness. Mm -hmm. I roll to attack the darkness. I cast but Alexa, magic missile at the darkness. Do you remember? Do you remember when Alexa attacked the darkness? That was great. That I was a that. while ago. Good times. Though. Alexa, roll for initiative. <laughs> bing, bing. Uh, are you gonna use this? You know what? I think it is. It's gonna aim for. Uh, it's gonna aim for Remy. Oh, that completely whips it. Yeah. Uh, Remy, as you like are standing there, you watch as a spiked net comes out of the darkness and you manage to lean your head back before you see like a rope pull it taut and it's pulled right back in, into the darkness and you're like, Ugh. it's covered in like bonefish hooks. And you, like it makes your heart just jump and your mind flashes back to that one water ganasi you found in the water covered with those wounds. Also, you know, maybe when Gruul did that. It was cute. You know, you're friends now. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's cool now. We know each other. We can laugh flashback. about it. That, that's flashback <laughs> city. Our kids go to school together. <laughs> <laughs> this sea goblin's going to attack Borky from the darkness. Ah, oh, that bastard. <laughs> 13. Ouch! It does not hit me. All right. And then this other sea goblin. Uh... God Keep bless that me. extra, that X ex, one extra armor on me now. <laughs> the one extra. <laughs> he is going to throw a net at you with disadvantage, Seika. Uh, nine, that's completely misses. He pulls it back. Uh, these guys are not, they were, I, they didn't receive orders. They're lost. So I, I, I have a very <laughs> specific question, Monty, real quick before you move on. Mm -hmm. Can I pick up the net? No, they're on their line, so they're yanking them back. Damn using it. Them, like, you know, <laughs> oh, you know, damn like, people, it. I'm sorry. You know, like, people who use fishing nets, and then they have, like, the rope at the end? That they yes, okay, pull in okay, the fish. okay. Like, that's that's what they have on them. It's okay, Zeta. We'll kill them and then take them. Mm. Yeah, you can oh, loot fuck. their corpses you, you later. Just, you just. No, I don't. I don't, because I want one, too. Um, This goblin rolled a really high perception check and swam out and sees his buddies, huh. but he looks up and he sees an octopus. Ah, jeez. <laughs> oh, Oh, also, no well, also notably, I am large size category. Are you large? Yeah, then he definitely yeah. sees you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm big now. Uh, nineteen to hit you. Uh, that'll hit octopus me. All right. Why is he attacking the octopus? What a dick! Because there's a giant ink cloud, so... He scared me! It was <laughs> scared! It's an actual defense! Ah, <laughs> uh, panic, I see you inked him! Uh, that going, that's going to be five points of piercing damage to your octopus form. Oof! And I need you to roll a concentration check for your spell. That is correct, yes. But it uses my constitution? I think it uses your constitution, creatures. yes. Oh, it uses okay. a spellcaster constitution. Uh, is that any better than... Nope, it's worse. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Constitution. Nope. Oh. Oh. I am no longer blue, 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 blue. Um. I got Catfrog, she's smoky, so like, just yells at you. Quick, use your ink again. Drive a crack, Bob. Uh, I ink again. <laughs> he releases another cloud, but this time it's all yellow. It's, it's yellow in color. It's oh, God. I hope every single goblin Jesus, has a different personality. <laughs> uh, this goblin comes out and sees you panic and is going to attack you as well. I wouldn't try it. I am uh, surrounded. That is, don't, that is an don't eight. Try. That's, that's going to miss. See? I told you don't try it. Mm -hmm. All right. These guys are going to go into the cloud. This guy needs to roll. Good. He's smart. And he is going to 10, 20, perfect. He's going to make his way around. And then this guy. Block, block, block. 15. Block, block, block. <laughs> I wish we had fireball. 
Wow, these guys rolling really good perception checks to get through this cloud. <laughs> well, right. they live here. <laughs> they do. They know the location as well. So that's what I'm rolling for is how well they memorize their location. This guy's an idiot, and he, he's new. So you know what? He's getting used to the layout. Um, <laughs> Shit, these new. are the beds. Damn it. Tim the intern. Actually, they're going to they're gonna dash, actually. They're going to dash with an additional feet of movement because now they can see. So I'm going to do that real fast for them. So 30 feet. I love the idea of these guys having interns. <laughs> like somebody comes back. Can you imagine right, doing guys, this I got your thing. cappuccinos. What the fuck? Uh, Long spork experience. You're getting on the job right now. All right. That ends the sea goblin's turn. Panic. It is now your turn. You are no longer an octopus. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, well, there goes my plan of being an octopus. Sorry. Yeah. You did get step the, uh, one. Be octopus. Step two. See step one. At least your ink cloud so stays. Yep, my ink cloud does stay. And I could make another one if I really wanted to, but I don't. Uh, instead, I am going to spend a third level spell slot. Third level? Third level. Uh, and I'm going to just, uh, a small bit of arcane light bellows out from my throat, and I guide it with my hand forward. I go, and it, I push it forward, and it goes past the goblins about right here. Okay. And... Uh, Everyone within 10 feet of it needs to make a constitution saving throw. I guess. Jesus. <laughs> okay. So can you can you give me the width of how big that is, just so I know who I'm rolling uh, for here? 10 feet. This is going to include all of those goblins and Borky. All of these goblins. Okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. I understand. I know it's you a, can take it. Did it's you want to hit... Did you want to hit Remy too? I know that sounds really mean, but you could literally <laughs> hit Remy. You could hit. I mean, if he hits Remy, I'd he hit hits me Seika too. as well. And you I don't know how Seika. good his constitution is. You would hit. You would hit eight goblins though. Ooh. Wouldn't he hit himself too? If yeah. I would hit myself, and I, I, mm. I like, I, I'm self-preservant. And you know what? <laughs> but then you, have... would still, you could still hit eight yeah, of move them, it one though. More spot over. If you move it one more space and you wouldn't hit yourself, you just wouldn't be able to hit the guy right in front of you, but you could hit the guy on the other side of Remy. You could hit everyone. <laughs> <laughs> kind of right up in my grill, though. See, Tess, this is why we're the smart ones. We stay back. <laughs> and you I were literally Bork... the one in the front that started this fight. I know yeah, Borky well, can take step. it. <laughs> Remy got... might be able to take it. Seika... You don't know anything has, about me. Has some bad luck. <laughs> wow. Wow. Actually, if you put it here, then you get yeah. If you if you move us. if you move it space over here, and then you have an eye shot of this space, you would literally hit everybody, Borky included. But you would miss the guy directly to you know the side of you. But you would hit all of these guys. Uh, yeah. Then I'll do that. All right. That's gonna be. It's gonna be eight uh, goblins. So. Yep, eight constitution saving throws. Go ahead, and, go ahead and click the save, like the spell for me, and then I'm gonna. I have to roll a bunch. It's con, right? Constitution, yes. Right. At third level, it's gonna be ooh. That's a failure on the first guy. Twenty-five points of thunder damage to those who fail. That's, That's a, a failure on the second guy. Uh, sergeant, natural one. Oof. On the sergeant, that's a failure. Um, the one next to Borky. Actually, I'm gonna do the next sergeant here. Uh, that's a failure for the other sergeant as well. The one beneath Borky. Uh, failure. Wow, these. Where are all the good rolls? You used them already them, for your yeah, perception they spent checks. Them seeing. Well, they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You rolled really well on my perception checks, and you turned me into a not squid, and now this is the punishment. <laughs> this is your price. <laughs> All right, this guy succeeds. The guy right oh, here. Oh, Borky, you need to make one, too. Uh, yeah, oh, Borky, you need to make one. Do I have to roll for that again? Const 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 Constitution saving throw. Saving throw. Oh, I'm raging, so I have an advantage on that, I think. Oh, strength. No, you don't. No, yeah, it's strength, yeah. Uh, that was a failure. Uh, so 12 fails. Wow. So, you'll, so you take uh, 25 points of thunder damage. Fuck, that just fucked me up, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Ouch. But behold, the fruits of your labor. That's how much damage was that? That was 25. 25, 25 points of damage. Jesus Christ. Also, you're okay. raging. Wouldn't they cut that in half? No. No, no it's thunder no, damage. It's magic. Only, phys oh. only, physical, so, only physical damage. Behold the fruits of your labor. Gone. Yep. Gone. <laughs> oh, so gone. just a, a spray of blood just fills this room. It's another depth charge, isn't it? So it's just yeah. Oh yeah. Or he oh, just yeah. stands there getting Gallaghered by blood. 
<laughs> but everybody knows we're here now. They're all gonna laugh at you. Dead. Mm, yeah, they do. Dead. Excellent. Dead. Holy shit. Alive. You did it, Connor. Wait, no, dead. You failed. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Oh, you guys watch. You ever see, like, what game would be the most appropriate for this? Imagine a grenade in dead space. Oh, God. Ooh. <laughs> just limbs and gore and intestines. You see like a spine just floating in the water now. Fate. The water the water is rose so red, it's almost like as bad as the ink cloud, but it drifts away. Um when you guys you guys can breathe the air, like the water underwater. Um it is like drinking the like it's like when you drink it, it, it tastes like the smell of like coagulated blood. It's awful. So and it like feels iron. thick and syrupy and coppery. Yeah, nature. What is a little, man? Little, little, <laughs> a little fishy. That hurt them. Yeah, yeah. and Very as, as all this blood just starts to seep out from the ink, and I just look over towards this last goblin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just... <laughs> uh gonna look at i actually can't see those two over there can i oh wait this guy took half damage that was 25 how much is half of 25 that's 24 and half that's 12. it's like 12. Oof. Yeah, he's not looking good either dead 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 okay sorry i'm just marking these things down yeah. all righty and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna walk by him act like he's not even there he's gonna he's gonna take an opportunity attack on you okay Let's find out if this works. Uh, that's going to be a 16 to hit you. That just hits. Okay. Uh, oh, sad. Two points of piercing damage. Oof, was ow, fun. hellish rebuke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dex save, correct? Correct. Uh, nine. That's gonna be a nine. <laughs> he takes thirteen fire damage. You watch as like this magma like eruption just boils around him. His skin like bubbles like with these pustules and these burns. He's still alive, but he's also looking terrible right now too. I just shake my head and I just say, "You shouldn't have done that." Uh, and now, smart Monty. Oh, now that God. I can see the rest of my companions, I am going to strum my guitar, use the use of my bardic inspiration, give everybody mental of inspiration. Beautiful. Hell yeah. You all get, is it 11 now? 11 God, HP. I, I have so many abilities across so many characters to give temporary HP. And I, just, <laughs> I know. It's 11 temp. Yeah. It's 11 temporary hit points, yeah. Yeah. And we get a, a reaction if we didn't use it, right? We get no. to move. If you well, didn't use your you reaction, you it, can it, use your reaction to move up to your yeah. speed without provoking your reaction. You already so used yours, so you can't. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I should do anything. I think I, I think I can. I mean, you can. You can. Yeah. You don't have to. Hmm. I. I don't. Like, think I'm. I should. I'm going to stay I, for posi for positioning reasons. I'm going to stay here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Actually, that's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Everybody gets eleven temporary hit points. Yeah. You're correct. Thank you. I will. I will stay as well because I like to have my reaction to reduce damage. Mark, I trust you to know what I'm doing. I don't want to go in the darkness. <laughs> That'll end my turn. Actually, if I only used a little bit of my... Are we... Because we're underwater, we still have moving at half speed? Uh, yes. Well, okay. no. You... I can't remember how I ruled it. No, yeah, you guys are half speed. No, you are half speed. Yes, half you speed? Are. Are okay. Yeah. yeah, then yeah. that'll end my turn, yes. Uh, I forgot about that, so that's my fault. Yeah, next time. You guys should be swimming at half speed. There are spells you, you can use to mitigate yeah. that, and also if you have a swim speed which you guys do not have. So, yes, technically your speed should have been half. My bad. Oops. I can't right. wait for that's my turn. Swimming in half, so whatever. All right, T, that's going to bring us around to <clears throat> Seika. It is now your turn. Mm. Uh, as panic uh, You guys know that there are creatures in the darkness, so I'm going to say for the sake of this, you would have the knowledge like the map has, but like you're not really aware of the ones to the left and to the right, except for the one that's visible. Mm. Can uh, I see this guy who's right around the corner? I'm going to get up and move on real quick. No worries. Yeah, you absolutely can. Okay. 
So as Panic is approaching, uh, Seika is going to basically flip over his shoulders, using his shoulders as a springboard to propel himself forward, move over here, and pounce. That 23. Hit. That hits. For seven damage. He punches head off. <laughs> <laughs> you just Boing. hold one to the and just bam. Oh, you let me punch his head and the neck just stays and the head just goes. And like it literally like floats with water physics and bumps against the back of the wall. And the body just, just slowly drifts. And then... Uh, Remember, half movement because you're underwater. Yeah, I know. Uh, this was uh, 10 and I can still... I have 25. Uh, so, I'm trying to decide. You have 15 feet of movement, essentially. Uh, my movement speed is 50, so my half speed is 20. Right, because you're monk. God damn yes, it. Yes, you're monk. fast. I'm a springy boy. Yeah, so you can get there. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'm going to move here. All right. As you go into the inky darkness, you can see nothing. Um, do I still get my extra attack? Or you no? do, yeah. It just This will be a disadvantage because you can't see. Right, right. Yeah. Um, but also flanking, so plus two. Uh, no flanking. Yeah, he no. is. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I thought I was looking at the lower guy. I apologize. Yes, you are flanking with Remy. Yes, absolutely, go ahead. Okay, also, go. um... Uh, that's just a 16. Wait, that's on, a 16. With flanking, right? These are the bigger with guys. Flanking, 16, yes, that hits. Excellent. I was Monks have doing what I was doing, Mark. I bless you. Eight <laughs> damage. Monk. Eight damage. You... Swing in the darkness, just kind of like using, you actually even close your eyes and you just, you know, you're training with Master Kai and the rest of the uh, the Acolytes of the Phoenix. You just like, you close your eyes and you can feel, for the first time, you've never had to fight underwater, but you can feel the movement of the, your water against your cheek. And you turn and you punch into the back of this thing. You get a solid hit, but he is still standing. Awesome. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and save my key and end okay. my turn. Well, no, I've got an offhand. I'll just I'll do an offhand. Okay. With disadvantage the plus two. Oh <laughs> damn! Uh, okay. Ooh, that 20. hits. That hits. Uh, so this is just the die roll, right? So yep. three. You knowing where this target is now, you're like, I hit him. I gotta hit him harder. And you go and you punch. And Remy, you bring up your shield as something hits you. As you watch the dead sea. Sergeant Captain float with a broken spine up towards the oh, ceiling. Shit. Nice. Oh also shit! Of... Hell I yeah! I was gonna kill him. I thought he was. Gonna... Uh, Remy, <laughs> roll a perception check with advantage because of your vision. Okay. Also, that is with your proficiency still your unarmed strike that's because of martial six... arts. That's a sixteen. Uh, does you that apply? See, you you yeah. see you see around this particular sergeant's neck a very ornate, beautiful key. Oh, 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 buddy. That ends. Seika, does it end your turn? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. That's going to bring us around to Remy. It is now your turn. You do not see anybody. You just see darkness. You saw a body come out of the darkness. I'm grabbing that key before it floats away. Okay. So go ahead. You don't have to roll for this, but it'll take your action to do so. Yeah, that's you're totally fine. It off so I'm going to take body. the key. Uh, as you take the key, it's a thick, weirdly enough, metal key. Um, which is very strange because there's no real metal down here. Um, it has sort of this ornate design of like a tentacle kind of wrapping around like the main sort of um, neck shaft, you know, like the where before it leads into like the actual end key part. And there's like a circular part to it, which is a tentacle as well. Uh, it's on a length of seaweed um, sort of um, woven rope, uh, but you grab it. it. It's heavy in your hand and you kind of flip it around in your hand. It's nicely made. Very nice. Uh, Remy is going to pocket that. He's going to five foot step. <clears throat> and then he's also going to sheathe his sword, and then that'll be turned. Okay. That's going to bring us around to task. It is now your turn. You see darkness. You can't see anything else. Um, hmm. I'm, yeah, this kind of blows. Um, I'm going to move over this way. Do I still count as concentrating? Or... Yes, you wanted to move, but I don't think you see a target right now. Well, I can't, but can I still concentrate on the spell? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So, uh, when I see, when I, at the first chance of seeing a target, I'm going to bonus, I'm going to ready action to bonus action and then throw a dart at him. So you want to hold action to throw a dart. Okay. Yep. 
if you see something. Okay, that'll be the trigger for the attack. Yes. So you hold your action, holding the dart. That brings us to Borky. It is now your turn. Excellent. I can, oh, there's all darkness around me. I have to enter into the darkness. Borky enters into the darkness. All right, you enter into the darkness and close your eyes. There's a giant cut out of him. I have to. I have to change. I have to think where he is. Where could his combo be? Borky punches right in front of him with his fist. Are you going to use a fist? Unarmed attack? Okay, so just roll a... I think you gain a proficiency with unarmed attacks with the, your tab and brawler. Feet. Yep. So yeah, hit, hit, unarmed, hit unarmed attack in your character sheet. With disadvantage. Where is he? Ten. Oh, you, oh. you punch a wall and... Ah! ah try again, because clearly the opponent's hard. Another unarmed attack. <laughs> All right. <laughs> punch harder this time. Exactly. Fourteen. It's a little Just harder. Hits. Just hits? Just hits. <laughs> okay, so... um. Click for damage. Let me take a look here at this. Uh, yes, unarmed attack. Click, click the damage. You can click I, it on the on the chat screen. Remember, just click yes, the thing. I, I thought there was a special effect. Six plus three. How do you, how do you want to kill him? <laughs> I just punch him. I just punch him dead. <laughs> yeah, you punch him and he just floats. He's done. He's gone. He's dead. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See. Significantly be careful more when I brush squishy. my teeth. <laughs> Sorry, Seika. I'm also a martial no, artist. No, don't apologize. <laughs> I also know kung fu. <laughs> that end your turn, Borky? I mean, yeah, it does. Keeps my rage going. Who's rolling? It was delayed. That was uh, the attack roll. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah. No, this is, now right, the guy's Freckles. neck breaks. Freckles, now it's your turn. You just see. see Seika and Borky enter the darkness. <laughs> Okay, hang on. I got a math. 15. I know I'm at half. I, I'm, yeah. I'm dash thinking. 15, 25, 30, 40. I can make that work. Um, I am going to use the dash action because I want to save my bonus action. Uh, okay. I want to get... Let me do the math just so you see. 15. Yeah, I, I saw you do it. Okay, You're okay. Good. I just want to make You're sure. Good. So hey, I'm going to get here. And I am going to use my cunning action to try to hide behind. Is this a pole or a bed? It's a bed. So it's like a it's like a recess in the ground. That you he gets in the hammock. <laughs> can I can I can I hide under bed? Sure. Yeah, I'll let you do that. Excellent. <laughs> you, it's, it's like you ever see a position. you ever see a sea turtle like lying down in like those sort of concave like sea anemones or whatever they are yeah yeah it's a similar design wow. oh my god <laughs> i'm sticking out like a sore thumb do you yeah. not have advantage on stealth no 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 work that way he, he yeah. stands up and the bed sheet covers over him like a ghost there's no bed sheet it's just a hole and you're like this will cover me but like <laughs> you just got in a hole <laughs> yeah you're hole. just the, the problem you forget is that there's still water physics applied so like your cape is like he floats up, up. yeah it's just floating <laughs> up right now Oh, well. uh, that brings us around to the sea goblin's turn. I have to roll for this guy who's still in the darkness. Oh my god, he's an idiot. Okay, roll. Yeah, intern. The intern guy is. Get just... him, Tim. <laughs> oh, actually, he's gonna make his way out this way. Good. Um, and he's gonna Whoop. move ten, and then yeah, he's gonna move up, and he's gonna notice you in the <laughs> hole. <laughs> and he's gonna put down the coffee that he got, and he's gonna stab you. <laughs> the coffee. Uh, Twenty-two to hit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you coming Saturday. <laughs> Seven points of piercing damage. Alrighty. As he stabs you. Um, the other sea goblin, seeing the guy like come out of the darkness, starts shouting at him, probably like berating him. You um, drop the coffee, awesome. Tim. And. <laughs> He is going to see you, and he's going to throw a net at you. Oh, boy. Eh. Okay. Uh, that is going to be 17 to hit. Mm-hmm. That hits. But okay. uh, I will I will use... What is that stupid ability? Uh, not Uncanny evasion. Uncanny dodge? Uncanny dodge. Thank you to have that damage. Well, you're going to take one point of damage from the net. Uh, mm -hmm. You take one point of piercing damage. And you are now restrained. Uh, good! And as a reaction, he's going to use Spear the Helpless. 
Whenever a creature within 30 feet of the sergeant becomes restrained, the sergeant can move its speed towards the restrained creature. If the sergeant ends its move within reach of the restrained creature, it can make a melee attack against it. So, he's going to make his way towards you, and he gets to do an additional melee attack. Good. I'm glad I've... I'm glad I decided to stick my stupid neck out. I mean, you hey, you have I think it could have been worse. You could have been instantly swallowed. You know what? I would prefer that at this uh, point. All right. <laughs> the good news is you're restrained, so you don't get an auto crit, but it is with advantage, so. Oh, oh God, that was not the thing. That is going to be a uh, 23 to hit. Uh-huh. And it's going to be one-handed. Oh, my God. Three points of piercing damage. I Hooray! One. Just my temp. Oh. Yay. Yeah, you're good. By the way, this is how, how my friend's character died. By the way, my the first time I ever had a player character death was from these things, so yeah. for context. Oh. All right, you're that is him. <laughs> hmm. How do you... How do you break restrained? I'm I'm trying to look at. Uh, it, it has it has an. I'll tell you. I think if someone you has to action, help you if it's a net no, specifically, right? Someone has to help you, or you have to make a uh, you have to make a strength check to get yourself out. Mm. Yeah, I remember Oss did that as well. Yeah, Oss. That was Oss's bread and butter. He just threw nets out and just like beat the shit out of people. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Curb stopped well, everyone. It it was the best because if he caught somebody, he'd just like fl flip them over their shoulder and just walk because they couldn't get out. Yeah. Um, nets are a weird, weird, weird item in the game. They also, I, I feel like, on using one actually for task. I hate that they're not strength based. They should be strength and dexterity based because there's, you know, gladiators use nets. But... Just throw them. Like it's just yeah. oomph. You just throw a them. Weirdly anyway, strong item. It's because we don't have uh, escape artists. Does it You anymore. still, none of you guys see this guy around this corner as he he swims forward. Mob feces. Uh, Actually, he's going to dash because he doesn't see you either. Five. Yeah, he's going to dash towards you, Panic, seeing you. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. Would you uh, like that to die like the rest of your friends? <laughs> okay, calm down. <laughs> um, that ends. Wait. <gasps> Did I not write down? Oh, no, there they are. Okay, good. Uh, that ends the Sea Goblin's turn. That brings us around to Panic. It is now your turn. Panic looks over at the uh, at the Colinth sergeant he's, <laughs> swimming he's towards him angrily, and he just says, "Okay, bye." And he, I'll use my action to disengage. Okay. Uh, <laughs> swim away. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm swimming away. Um, I'm gonna swim over here. I'm gonna swim. Uh, and for my bonus action, I am going to. <sighs> Oh, okay. I just heard my yeah. turn. The council, the council has decreed that you're not allowed bonus actions anymore. I'm just joking. What do you want to do? I need, need like a shirt that says, and for my bonus action, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to, do I have to be able to see Seika in order to give him inspiration? Uh, if it specifies in the spell, then yes. How long does the ink take to dissipate? A minute. Uh, it literally oh, cannot go until, I think it says... It's like uh, ten rounds. Yeah, it lasts. It lasts a minute or until a current gets rid of it. So, in that case, excuse me. I am going to cast. Yeah, I'm not going to use use inspiration just yet. Yeah, uh, forget, I'm you going guys to might have limited resources here. So, yeah, I'm going to use a third level spell slot to cast healing word. On, oh shit! I can't see him either. Fuck. Um, damn, this is a predicament, isn't it? Do I have any potions? I have a potion of greater. Say, you're gonna be up after panic. Yeah, I'm prepped. What are we doing? Mm, what are we doing? You know what? Yeah, I am going to use use my bardic inspiration to uh, give Remy inspiration. Okay, Remy, you have inspiration. Feel inspired, Remy. Bosco? Yeah, no, I'm ready. Okay. okay. You could be say thank you or no. Like, I appreciate that. Make word business. Bosco we're talking about. Yeah, uh, that's gonna be my turn. Jacob, it's not your turn. Uh, I'm, I, going I'm gonna to move over here instead. Roll a perception check for me, because you are in the darkness. Can I just retrace my steps back out the way nope. I came in? Nope. Roll perception, because the enemies had okay. to deal with the same thing, so I'm making you guys do the <clears> same <throat> thing, too. Yeah. 
Okay. Ten. Roll a d4 for me. One d4. Man. <laughs> That's a d5. Hold on. I can't. How does that even work? All right, four. you 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 run into the wall here immediately to your uh, right. It's, you just it's like four, <laughs> not the two. Oh, four. Oh, uh, yeah. The first one was a D five. <laughs> Great, you run into this wall. <laughs> awesome. That takes my whole movement. Uh, that takes your movement. Yeah, you have your action and you have your bonus action. They had to deal with the same shit. I know. But, I know. I just it's I'm fine. trying to think about how to adjust. Uh, I can spend a key point to use Step of the Wind as a bonus action, but I imagine I'm going to have the same issue. You'll have to do the same roll, yes. Uh, it's it's gonna have to be worth it. So let me spend the key point to do that. I'll give you another perception. Nice. Does a Twenty-one. Do it. Ooh. Much better. You run into the wall and you're like, "This is this is not the wall I was next to because my back was up against the wall." I moved forward, so if I move this way, yes, I know where to go. So now you you know where to go. Okay. Yeah. So I'll move here, and momentarily look left and right. See that Remy is between me and Greckles and uh, say, Remy, Greckles, and move in here. Yeah, you, you swim forward. And I will punch. All it's right. going to surprise you, but I'm going to punch. Wow, I, wow. And miss. Miss. You go and you punch, and this thing, like, brings up its trident and blocks your fist. And I will come back with a hook. And miss. Oh, <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I'm holding him up. That's the best. I'm, you are. I'm helping. This guy's more agile. He's also more beefy. He's like, like moving back and forth, trying to trying to dodge your fist. But you are well, in between him and, and Remy. You notice as you charge in, he was ready to throw his net at Remy, so you managed to stop that from happening. Heck yeah. That brings us around to Remy. It's now your turn. Okay. Seeing what's going on, uh, Remy's eyes are going to go wide, uh, and he's going to scream out, Grickles! Uh, and he's going to cast Shatter right here. Okay. Holy so fuck. He's going to try to bring the wall down on these two, so they both need to make a save. All right. It's a lot of bass booms going off in Natural here. Natural one. Oh. <laughs> Is that man about to be inside 14 out? points of thunder damage. Oh, God. I, I rolled a one and a two, so they both fail. Jeez. Oh, boom, uh, boom. This guy's going to take 14 points of damage. Ouch. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's the wrong guy. It's 14 points of damage. That's going to bring him to... Oof. Yeah, that hurts him. With the uh, structural designer of this cave to make sure that this doesn't bring the cave down on everybody. I'm They're sad both now, Mark. still standing, but they look <laughs> rocked. Uh, bo uh, Panic, you would see this because you're the closest similar, one. Similar to the Booming Blade, the Shatters are also like depth charges, by the way. They're not loud. They actually are like... Pfft. Like, they kind of <laughs> don't really make a sound. It's it's They still like make a... Thing. Sound, so, but it's not it's not as loud as it would be in the air because it's uh, thunder damage, so panic, you will see this. You will see Remy's eyes go wide when that doesn't finish them off, and he's gonna action surge. And he's uh, okay, are you sure? You gotta remember we're in a long dungeon, you're only I don't, in the first I don't room. wanna do this, but roleplay wise this this makes sense. I don't wanna burn it out, but Okay. That, I, I can defend myself. Yeah, but that's super meta not to use it right now. You know these right, things I mean, aren't hitting that hard. You know that from yeah. being hit by them. Right. Brickles is not even scratched. It took my all right. Yeah. all right, all right, I'll save it. I'm at least going to move here, though. I'm at least going to yeah. move here. You see that okay. Greckles took a hit, but he's not harmed. He's actually doing fine. All right. He's in a tiny net. Turn. I'm throwing you I, a bone here. I'm I will throwing not you a bone here. No, I, no, I, I know it's it, fake. I know, Monty, I know it's stupid resource management, but character-wise, it made sense. Well, he's not hurt. He just has temporary hit points. He's fine. A tiny net is a he's, he's actually, he's more frustrated than anything right he's now. He's holding his arms laying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> just like, God, how do I keep doing this? All, All right, right. I'll, I'll save it. Go ahead. That's turn. That, okay, I don't want to discourage you, but I just, you know, trying to be a good DM here. I don't want to, you know. That, that wasn't, I, I knew that was dumb. I was doing that strictly for role play. Yeah. All right. Uh, that brings us now to Task. It is now your turn. All right, I'm going to move myself on over here, 
Hunter's Mark, uh, the general with the net on ta on uh, Greckles. Okay. Hunter's marked. Done fuck now, motherfucker. Let's go, dart. 28. Oh, yeah, that hits. All right, so 8 Ooh. plus... Claw Slayer as well. Plus, and Colossus Slayer, so 8 plus 6 oh. plus... Come on, oh, okay. 8. Oh, come on, my eight. God! Oh, oh my God. Damage, baby! Damn. Mm. That's 16 plus 6. That's 22? Yep. Yeah. That's exactly what you need to kill him. This man is dead. Ooh. He is absolutely wrecked. He turns and as Remy comes rushing in, he like brings up a sword and he doesn't notice you and just gets absolutely killed. As you throw yes. a dart, it hits him in the neck and you just watch him <laughs> reach in, trying to plug the hole and just the, the blood just seeps between his fingers and he just like okay. drifts down. Okay, I'm not done yet, so and then real quick. Him. Yeah, but I'm not done yet. Cause <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm sitting here going, oh fuck. What would happen if we actually got tasked, like, as a uh, side gig, like, during free time? Then he just goes around and goes to dart competitions in bars. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's uh, time to get good at the darts. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, am I allowed to pass Hunter's Mark on to the dude next to him? With bonus action? You already did your bonus action. Okay, fair enough. The and yeah. dart him. Nat 20. Oh, oh my well. god. Oh, Sorry, my Tim. God. You picked the wrong day to start at this company. Yeah, apparently. Sorry, Tim. Oh my that's five points of piercing damage. Tim is dead. Tim is dead and his <laughs> oh, no! is over. Tim! <laughs> Fucking murderer. I as started his dumb as, side story. I ended it. As as unpaid in death as he was in life. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes out going, I never... Task, first task holds his hand up where the dart once was and grabs the descending cup of coffee and sips it. <laughs> All right, it's just seawater. You're like, <laughs> oh fuck, Tim! <laughs> Why do they drink this? <laughs> All right, task. Is there anything That's else turn. you want to do in your turn? All right, Borky, it's now your turn. Hooray! Right. You were able oh. to see to the north of you, but you cannot see to the left, right, or behind you. So. Uh, Borky bump, then bumps into task. Oh, sorry, task. Ah. Sorry, task. Sanka, watch out! <laughs> Borky runs. Can, just, can Borky stab through Seiko with a spear through his legs? Uh, you, can, you can throw a spear. Oh, good. Right in front. Excellent. That never goes poorly for Borky. Why is yeah. Borky sideways now? I he was looking under your legs. Here! <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so I was scared. so... Holy <laughs> fucking so shit! so scared! I know, right? That was good. <laughs> one on the other side. 12 points of damage. Uh, All right, yeah. Me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you throw the spear, it hits this guy in the chest, and he just shrieks out in anger and rage. Oh, well, then I can have another spear. He's still alive. All right, you spear. grab another spear from your shell. Make sure you write off the spears that you're throwing, by the way. Thirteen. Thirteen misses. As you throw Wait. the second spear, he just dodges his head out of the way. Wait, you're raging. Doesn't that... No. No. Oh, doesn't... Right, right, rage, rage, rage. My yeah. bad, my bad, my Only bad. Only adds damage and gives me give advantage on strength checks. Yeah, if he was if he was a frenzied rage or he did reckless attacks, but I don't think you could do anyway. No, I didn't. I have to declare it. it yeah. It, it, okay. Yeah. My bad. No worries. It's all good. That yeah. ends your turn, Borky. Yes, it does. Okay, that brings us to Greckles. It is now your turn. You're you're in the net. You're is it, is it is it is it easier Surfing to get way. out oh, since there's nothing Hold holding on. it? Hold on. I have to check something here. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I mean, yeah. no one's holding it, so. How how do you want to get out of the net? Because you can. There's other ways to get out of the net. I mean, I would assume he just he just sits up, realizes the mistake, and just slowly pulls the net off of him. Okay, just that will very require it, That will require a check. Then you're gonna have to make a, a strength check, just a base strength check. Is there me. a way I can wiggle, or is it just all going to be strength checks? I'll be clear with you. You can cut it. It's cuttable. It's not magic. Okay, then I'm just gonna cut it because there's oh, no right. way I'm gonna make a strength check. Yeah, you, you just take it. Just, you just very, sh very angrily, he just pulls out the sun blade. And it's just like a slow sizzle as he slowly cuts through the net. Just roll. Angry. You have to roll the hit. You have to roll the hit, though. That's fine. <laughs> just angry boy. It's like this is the most upsetting yeah, use of this weapon. And, uh, if anyone needs damage. me, I'll be in the angry dome. <laughs> I'm he in the angry kind of in a water. Dome. Eight. Uh, yeah, destroy it. You just, you just, you start swiping it and just gets turned to ribbons. Unfortunately, that breaks one of them, but, you know, you're free. So. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, did that take an action? That, yeah, that would have taken an action. Okay, I figured that. it would. Man, Monty, can I do a ranged attack against three of my allies? Yeah, because I don't ever do it where you... I just let it so you can you throw it through your allies. All right, there. so I'm going to do but an But the off. enemies get to do the same thing, so it's That's That... This feels silly. We're all in... You know what? No, let's... You know, no, no. Okay, I will... I, I make my five-foot step, and I'm going to just... Just going to chuck Todd. He was doing good. Okay. Ah, chuck Todd. They got to arc it. Todd? Todd, please. Uh, 15. Yeah, 15. That hits. That was his scream. Ooh, All right. Damage. Nine and sneak plus. Attack. Greckles oh, is just he's fucking dead. had it. He's he's just had it. So 23. Yes. Dead. He's gone. So had it. I was going to suggest dead. that we do the uh, the modern version of the old school peasant cannon and just pass Greckles up along the party. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Say so could just use his Greckles as a knife and whoosh, just, just pass me. <laughs> He's just holding Greckles like a weapon, and then Greckles is just holding out the knife at the end, and then Seika just swings like a baseball we, bat. We did just that like before. Mecha Frankie. No, we, yeah. we we did that before already in the Elemental Plane of Air. Borky oh, did right. it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So now you have to do it in the next two we go to. Good. <laughs> it's a checklist right. so that we can get the hundred percent completion for our. I assume. Your I assume the ink Mecha Greckles. With that combat comes to a close. You guys hold your breath. But nothing happens. Whew. Good work, team. Taking a net. The black ink of the octopus let me grab it fades away after about a minute. Uh, and it is just a smoothie of gore and corpses in this space now. Yum. Um, Pan Panic just, just goes <clears throat> <laughs> Dust off his hands. Uh, are there weapons that we could potentially use since it is the yes. underwater bitty? Yeah. Uh, there are 13 tridents. How many nets? Now these uh, tridents. Sorry, there are 15 tridents. I apologize. Oh god. Now these tridents are like just throwing spear level, right? Yeah. No, they're like they're like throwable underwater weapons. Uh, hey, uh, Borky just grabs. Can Borky have the 13 spears? Can I just take these? I mean, you can use them as melee weapons too. I'm hawking these things like crazy, dude. So let's. So 15 then. I'm gonna yeah, add 15 15. 15. 15 tridents. I'll add them to your character sheet real fast. Thank you very much. I'll add 15 tridents. Be oh. sure to mark off any spears that you use because they're they're null and void. Yeah, I have been. Uh, how how long? Spot, do tridents our, are more hilarious. How long do our temporary hit points last? Uh, until you get more. Okay, so oh. they don't they don't disappear. Yeah. Right. Cool. By the way, clutch with that. By the way, yeah, clutch that whole real. combat. Oh God, Kurt, your your inventory is like not what it should be. I know. I don't know what happened. It would disappeared. Oh, it entirely, it entirely I disappeared. Change it because now it's going to be, and I can't add you a new weapon to your actual character sheet now. Okay, so we'll have to go over that at a different time. You want me to unmark? No, it I need to put that in there, and I don't want to manually put it in because that's going to take forever. Okay, I'll just, I'll, just so, write down, I'll just write down the javelin. Can, can you write down. down everything that's in that space right now? The copper pieces, the, the why are you putting electrum pieces? What? What are you talking about? Uh, your 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 money is all over the place. Just write down yeah. the information that's there for me really quick, oh, and then I'll deal with that in a minute. Okay. Uh, there are also three hooked nets. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I'll take one as well. Now you guys aren't used to these weapons so just to clarify the pullback ability you guys don't get that that was a sure. special ability of these colons but you can use them as normal nets that is so, a-okay uh you also need to write down the money amounts that are there too unless you have that written down somewhere else kurt i used to have it written down somewhere else but i'll copy paste these yeah copy and paste that please because you're gonna lose it once i start tinkering around with things here so just yeah write that down but they still have um, the hooked property what are, what are the what are the they first do buckets? yes so what are the first fucking? I'm oh, sorry. If you hit a creature with this item, you basically do a net attack. It does. It deals one d4 plus your strength of piercing damage. Sick. Yeah. Um. Everybody, for me, roll a investigation check separately. Everybody, roll an investigation. Can check Can do. All oh, right, that guy had a key on him. Did only yeah. Remy see that? Remy. Natural wow. twenty. Wow. Oh okay. my god. Don't even they can't get that. seven. Oh, it for fun. 19. Natural one. Remy, you're just, you're you're fixated on this key. It's a really nice key. 
Um, no, you're trying to figure out, like, you're you're trying to, like, mathematically figure out how they would have made this underwater, and you get the sense that they probably either stole this, or it's, like, not magical, but was probably made through magical means. Mm. Um, all right, Task and Panic. You guys are just swimming through the gore, having a lovely time. You find three Holding steel hands. ingots. Whether or not you oh. want to keep these objects, let me know. Oh. And also, remember, you have limited space in the bag of hold it, the hole. Well, the hole, actually, the hole could fit a lot, but it'll fill up with water, yeah. too, so keep that in mind. Three steel ingots. I'll just real quick go, <laughs> you know. Well, you could you could do the dome, I guess. Ritual cast the dome and then do that inside of there. Oh God, uh, I could actually ritual cast the dome. It only yeah. takes eleven minutes. Let's say let's say yeah, let's say you, you guys ritual cast the dome. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> task, you're just you're just going through perfectly, like with your senses, and you're going through. You find three steel ingots. Yeah. Two cannonballs. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah! Oh, man. A glass dagger. Ooh. This is the first fucking time Taz gets to actually fucking carve or take anything. He's all on this. You find three bone javelins that are more ceremonial than, like, useful. They actually have, like, these carvings on them of, like, orca whales and various sea oh. creatures on them. This is money. <laughs> oh, they were they were scrimshaw is what you're saying. Yeah, which I learned about yesterday. That's good scrimshaw. Yeah. That's good scrimshaw. Uh, you find a bottle of wine oh. uh, that Is has this... it has uh, depictions of elephant people on it, which you would know are the Loxodons. Oh. Um, and on Cobbin, it says Rabab Winery is what it says. Hold, hold on, Rabab. hold on. I lost, I lost the key because I'm on a weird keyboard. Sorry. Rabab. Uh, hold on. Shift uh, Loxodon Rabab Winery. All right. I know yeah. Bardic knowledge isn't um, the thing anymore, but what I have heard of Rabab Winery. Roll, roll, a, roll a history check for me. History check. Can't Jack of all he... trades, don't fail me now. Can't believe these guys have underwater. Jack of all trades, trades failed me now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't know where the origin of this wine is from, but it looks nice, and maybe it's worth something. You're not sure. Mm. Um, Task, you find a fancy porcelain teapot. Fancy teapot. You find a mirror framed in bronze. You find what? a ridic You find a rolled up painting of a very plump sea captain. I'm sorry. One, one second. Bronze mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, again, weird keyboard. Sorry. Yeah. No uh, worries. Just keeps blaming the keyboard. I have. It's so generous fucking tiny, like dude. And <laughs> no Pay little fingers. Respect. I could toss this thing and it would fucking fall apart, fall apart like a bomb. Actually, it wouldn't. It's very sturdy. Okay, uh, painting. Solid um, okay. He just picks up and smashes. <laughs> I just hear shattering from outside the room. You want to fucking try me? <laughs> <laughs> my window. That's my. That's the pride and joy right, of captain that. Captain of a sea cap. A uh, painting of a sea. Of a of a plump sea captain. Yes. Of plump sea of a. Plump he looks sea like captain. the like Chef Boyardee, but as a as a pirate captain. <laughs> Someone oh, draw uh, that. Oh my god! Excellent. <laughs> Chef Boyar captain. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out a way to fix Borky's thing captain. here. I'm just looking real Chef fast. Chef Boy, our captain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. Uh, shit you find 123 Alton gold pieces. Ooh, Ooh. Alton, huh? Altonian gold pieces, yes. Alton uh, GP, got it. Roll it. Roll a history check for the uh, actual, what the money is, where the money could be minted or made from. Here I go. How much was it? 130? 15. 123. Uh, these are probably Cethelian gold pieces. Let me write that down. I lost the page. Here we go. Athelian. Cethelian. Cethelian. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes, Cethelian, right there. Thank you. Uh, that's where that that's where that's where that weird wizard guy who visited your guys' library was from. Oh yeah. It's yeah, kind yeah, of an arc it's kind of an arcanist hotspot. Because he also talked about the Loxodons. Yeah. Similar, similar area. Why can't I? I'm trying to fix your your carrying thing, but I can't seem to do it. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, well, the problem is now I can't click and drag stuff. What's it? What's it? Uh, what's it look like? Is it like a big long sheet, or is it? No, item? it's it's turned into a text box where you can type into it instead of the list okay. that you usually have. And I don't know how All to right. switch it back because so, they changed the thing. If you can, me. if you can copy all of that information in the text box, just so you have it. I think it is an option in, in the cog. 
-hmm. It should be an option anyway. Let me, mm -hmm. I'm trying let me to go into attributes it. and abilities and class, and class options, barbarian. Would would this be would this be an ample time for a break so we can figure this Let's out? Let's take a break. I'm gonna give you I will give you guys the rest of this and we'll figure out the rest. Um yeah. so you find a flawed garnet, which is kind of gross. Um and you find a bag of teeth. A bag Ooh. of teeth? This what is the best item teeth? out of the whole lot. <laughs> you can't tell um, me otherwise. A mixture of mostly humanoid teeth, a couple goblin teeth, um, and a few like like fish, some sort of underwater creature teeth. It's it's they're worth nothing, but there's just a bag of teeth. I mean, if you want it, you can take it. You fucking it's task. Of course he wants it. Teeth are technically bone, so you can make bone armor out of those teeth. I, that is completely everything about task. <laughs> oh, inventory. Yeah. Hold Monty. on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take... Got it. I got it. I fixed it. Okay. All there right. we go. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, ignore the uh, ignore the overcarrying capacity. Yeah, I figured I figured it because a lot of that is yeah. also in the in the hole. There we go. All right. In now I'm gonna hole? grab your your trident. Get rid of that javelin lightning. No, let's get rid of that. Um, I don't think you're gonna be able to carry all these trident. Why are you still not working? What the fuck is happening? I just want to drop a trident into you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't think this would be such a fucking pain in the ass. Are you are you doing are you doing proficiency or are you doing the actual item? I fixed it. I can't edit or control his sheet. Maybe this will fix it. Nope. I don't know what's happening. I don't know why this isn't working. I have to automatic. Oh fuck me. Okay. When you roll for Maybe... this, just let me know when you roll for it, and I'll figure it okay, out. Okay. We'll do. I think, well, I think it's roll twenty is being stupid right now. Okay. Anyway. Yes. We can we can try something during the break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess we can. Let's take a break. Yay! Okay, okay, break. Okay, so, so, uh, Kurt. Let me do it. I'm on his sheet. Let me figure it out. Okay. So you you've got the trident up in your compendium right now, right? I have the trident up in the compendium. Yeah. I'm a, I'm on the items. I'm not on the proficiency. I'm on the item part. You're on, and and if you drag it in, it doesn't automatically add it, it to. Does not work. No. I don't know yeah. why. I'm just gonna. Just so we can get this figured out, I'm going to copy and paste my inventory to you. Just so I have it. Don't mind that. I'll delete it later. It's just so All I right. have it. Uh, okay. Items. Trident. Drop it in. It works for me. What the fuck is happening? Why isn't it working? Is, are your proficiencies in languages also like a text box or is it the list like you're used to? My proficiencies in languages are also a text box, yes. Okay. I thought that might be the reason why. I don't understand why i can't edit his sheet did, did uh you said you already gave control to you yeah i just fixed that and it's <clears throat> did you refresh right. afterwards i'm gonna refresh roll 20 and just see if that fixes it i love Character you roll 20 but sometimes and i'm shaking my i face. don't <laughs> shut up it's gotten us this far has it yes i like roll 20 um, where did you find the ability to change it to compendium compatible? Is that uh, in the so gear in the GM top stuff? right corner? So there's there's a drop down thing. It's like in the middle of stuff where it says um, inventory compendium compatible. So where it says core bio spells cog, you click the cog, and it's there. Yeah, the cog's there, and it's just a bunch of crap, and you have to go through it and all. But I'm figuring it out uh. right now. All right, let me try this now. Features and traits. I'm set on compendium compatible as well. No. Let's try changing it to simple. Nope. Okay, hold on. I'm going to copy and paste this and try. Uh-oh. Yeah, make sure you don't lose anything when you do that. Compendium compatible. Compendium compatible. Anyway, uh, thanks to everybody who's still with us. <laughs> okay. We are taking I didn't a break lose them. right now. So. <laughs> okay. Apologies yeah. while we uh, try to sort this. It's just it's just a bit uh things are a bit are a bit fucky at the I, I need to get up and eat though, and I can't take too much time with yeah. this, but I just deleted all of Connor or Kurt's shit, so I gotta fix that real fast. Oh okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Light armor. Let's see if I put my proficiencies in languages as... Well, now it's working when I drop in proficiency stuff, so maybe it'll work now. I just don't know why it's not letting me drop in weapons. Like, I don't get why that doesn't work, but maybe it'll work now. Oh, I should probably delete the stuff that I dropped in. 
There we go. That fixed it. Oh. Excellent. Woo, we got it taken care of. Yeah, it's 15. Good. Done. It was because they weren't all compendium compatible. They all had to be compendium compatible, oh. I guess, to work. Oh, yeah, that makes so, sense. Yeah, Wait. So. No, it doesn't. We got it's it fixed. Like, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It makes, it's nice because it actually, it actually reverted all of his items that he previously had in the actual list back to his inventory. So like even even the ebony penguin is here, and like the javelin of lightning is here too. All right, uh, I'm grabbing I'm grabbing a mouthful of ciabatta bread. I'll be right back. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna go Herbs. pee. Herbs of lead, lead mouse ciabatta. I guess. No, I guess it's all of ciabatta. Oh, I guess that means I gotta come up in here for that Whoever halftime Whoever baked the ciabatta <laughs> bread that I bought gave up on life. I'm very sad. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's probably like, Hi, chat. Yeah, so hi, chat. How you guys show. doing? Tech talk with Taka, or at least Taka's sister. So that that's always fun. It's always good. I mean... It's never good. It's never, never You're good. never Shut good. Shut up, Burnout. I don't want to hear it from you. Uh, yeah. So this is... this. That was a, that was a fight. That was a fun fight. Yup. Like, like... Stuff actually worked, and yeah, it happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ink definitely helped. Don't tell Mark to talk about the weather because, unlike most people, he will actually go off about the weather. Oh no, we. Yeah. yeah. I mean, also sensitive subjects. Here's what I will say: If you are actually interested in hearing about weather stuff, you can either check my Twitter because I post about it very frequently, um, or catch one of my streams and ask about it. Um, the last stream that I did. Last two streams that I did, we got some really good questions about weather stuff, and I'm I'm always happy to talk about it um, in my streams. I don't want to take over this stream with weather chat. So, so I, I want to say this because I didn't get to say it during the intros because Kurt wanted me to shut the fuck up. Uh, thank you for all of the nice comments in the the YouTube section. Uh, I go through those. Are they good? Those. Yeah. Well, they've yeah they've been very nice. People have now specifically been saying hi, Bosco. Uh, I don't ever call anybody out by name, but there's there's been a couple of the like, hi, Bosco. Also, here's my comments, which nice. always cracks me up. Uh, I've seen a couple of people trying to leave advice, which I guys, that's metagame. And they if you learn anything about what I was game. about to do, I try not to metagame. Man. So I can't anything that you leave me that's a hint or like, hey, tell this player to do this thing. I can't. I'm not going to do that. I can't. That's super meta. Uh, but we appreciate it. Also, if, if your rules lawyer in the comments, we're not policing the comments. It was mostly just about the chat. We don't like when people backseat game in the chat because if somebody happens to see that who's monitoring it, it could influence the game and all that stuff. Even though none of us are supposed to be monitoring it. Bosco. Well, one, per one person is. Taka is. Bosco. I said Taka is. Bosco. Anyways. What, what is she screaming Connor about? I don't even know. Is. Connor is. Connor is. Oh, whatever. Connor is. So there you go. One person. Okay, uh, I'm going to jump out real quick and refill my water. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not supposed to stay here. Well, I didn't want you to be here by yourself because yeah, then job, everyone yeah. would have to hear you. So. I don't care. I, listen, I can handle this. I'm I'll used to commentating on my own for hours at a time. <clears throat> Hello, I'm I back. just like being here. Yeah. Welcome mm. back, Connor. If you're going to give us good. advice, my give us advice been... on how to navigate Roll20, please. It's true. Uh, my day's been going good, Citric. By the way, we have to talk about the Espanol soon, so let's figure that out. Hello, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> Hey, welcome back, Zito. And thank you, Zenlit. I'm glad you enjoyed the, the WoW cinematic. I thought it was really good. I was, I've been, <laughs> we recorded that months ago, so I'm glad it's finally out. So I don't have to be like, aha, I can't talk about what I did to Josh Keaton. Um, yeah, I'll also, hit you up after just, Oh, what's up? Go I was going to quickly say, can I just say thank you, Bosco? Because after you, like, after we just, like, shot the shit over at your stream, someone actually came over to my stream, like, when I wasn't live and donated. And I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, I, I try to plug people. Like, there's a reason I, I know, I like but to I, 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 listen, all this generosity is fucking huge, dude. So I'm just like, oh, thank you, dude. Um, your I, fucking roof fell in. Like, it, yeah, you're you're allowed to let people help you. Like, I know, I, but you know me, I'm a prideful motherfucker, and I try to like get no, everything I done you. myself. I, I I would be in the same situation, but like Probate talked about it too on his Twitter about how it's weird to like be in the position where you need the help as opposed to like giving the help. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, people love you, Zito. Yeah, Z Zito's like, do you want to explain what happened? Because talking about the roof it's, falling it's in, okay people are like, what's happening? Know. Yeah, uh, so the Texas winter storm happened. Uh, our pipe closest to the kitchen burst, and it spread water throughout my living room and my dining room, 
We got the power to turn off, but literally that night, it was bowing the entire living room ceiling to the part where me and my wife were standing there, and I said, I think it's about to fall. And the moment I said fall, it lands directly on top of my wife. It fell directly on top of her. She got away with a scrape and a fucked up phone. That was the worst of it, but she was shaken up. And we like this is like we are fine. We're absolutely fine. She is totally fine. But like I said, that's what happened to her. Uh, now we're we're in the phase of like we're getting people to come in, take a look at the building, uh, make sure everything's still structurally sound. We have power, heat, and water, so we're completely fine on that front. It's just that when I told people about this and I showed the pictures off on my Twitter, people obviously donated to my to my uh, to my twi- uh, Twitch account. And for that, I can't fucking thank you guys because our problem wasn't money. It was just what the fuck are we going to do to, like, get all this fixed. But with all the donations everyone has actually given me, you have made it incredibly comfortable to make sure that if my insurance doesn't actually cover whatever the fuck we lost, I can still get it. That includes her glasses, a cell phone, uh, any of her tech that got fucked up, our couch, and our table. So twitch.tv slash Zito, donate to make him cry. Dude, I cried already. On, dude, I cried no, on stream like four times. You're late on that. No, I, yeah, but I want to hear it. All right. I thought you were about to do your like, right, all right, give me a second. <laughs> dude, I'm, 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 hold on, method acting. I'm getting in there. Shut let up. Me, let, me, let, me, let me cue that up. Oh fuck! <laughs> How are you doing there, Zito? Zito? I'm actually, good. Is, that's actually not Zito? bad. You yeah, hard the, man. Zito, when you left the booth that belongs to Mark, you made sure to lick the doorknob on your way out, right? <clears throat> what? I will what? do more than that. Uh, what? I need to go to inflict poison damage. I'm- you know, I will Monty. do more. Don't, Monty. Don't worry. On your behest, I will do more than that. Licking and then Mark will never drive me home, and then I'll be right. fucked. Wait, what? It is really. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, no. So like I said, that's basically what happened. We had a little bit of a hell week. There was like two days where we didn't have food, but that got solved because of Mark yeah. and a bunch of other people who helped out. We um, are we are in a such a better place right now. The only problem is that my wife's like tech and all of her like work setup shit is now sitting in my room next to my computer. So that's the worst of it right now. So you, uh, you guys all have to, to work for from any, room. any Texan content creator right now, be patient as well with them because, you know. <clears throat> also, let me just say, like, so I, I've noticed just because a lot of people on Twitter like to make jokes. So for those of you who are confused about why it's so bad in Texas, they're not used to this kind of weather. No, so the homes mm-hmm. are not in. So people are like, oh, I'm in Canada. I'm in Chicago. I'm in New York. I know what the cold feels like. Stop being so crybaby about it. Here's the thing. The our pro- built the, the houses and the buildings are designed to handle that weather. The infrastructure was not designed to handle that level of hey, minus. Tr- right. Man. And that's also How why about all the-, the grid. That no, is no, yeah, that. Uh, no matter what your installation is like, the moment you use power for a long extended period of time in your home, it's, it's dangerous, no matter yeah. where you are. I, I like, will tell you guys line. this. I will tell you guys this. We actually lucked out. We're on a power grid that is green, so we don't have to worry about all the fucking hiked up prices right now. I am so fucking lucky that that's yeah, but Zito, but Zito, it here. was the wind turbines failing that screwed everything up, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, it I'll tell, hey, Zito, I'll tell you what, Zito, get me Zito. started on these fucking wind turbines. Zito, anyway, Zito, in the future, anyway, in the future, just go to Cancun, guys. Guys, you know, we're, we're stepping into territory, which is... Right on. Cool. The, the point is, thank you guys so much. Thank All you. Right. The, the love is appreciated. So, let's get back into it. Um, Trying to see here. Oh, shit! I gave you the loot for the wrong room. Oh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, oops. Well, but it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll describe what happened, because you technically have access to the room. Um, so what you actually find in the barracks, uh, amongst the kind of low-ranking sea goblins is you do find the, excuse me, you do find the 15 tridents and the three hook nets. That, that does not change. Okay. Uh, but you also find on the intern, a small bag of shrimp. That was probably his meal for the night. Ooh, I'm gonna eat that. Uh, a rusty, a rusty silver brooch. Silver brooch. And five Alton gold pieces, Sithelian gold pieces. 
Okay. What Another you, ship run foul these guys. Where you found all this other stuff. Um, and all you guys will see this. Uh, I'm just going to reveal it here. Or not, because Roll20 doesn't like me to have dreams or aspirations or any <laughs> sense of accomplishment. Dang. I'm just going to do this real fast. Boom. Are you going to have to move wall flies to that? Yes, I'm moving wall flies okay. So, in this space here, I'm just going to load you guys into there, because it's safe. You guys would have known that it's safe. That's probably where the two other high rank and file people came from. Mm -hmm. uh, is a large stone statue um, of a somewhat humanoid-looking creature um, with kind of musculature body, four arms, um, two very powerful looking legs that kind of just go in, into the earth. You don't really see where they end. Um, and a very clearly abstract looking face with these giant like horns. Um, and they're, re they're wielding a different weapon in each hand. They have a large scimitar in one hand, a large hammer in another hand, an ax in the third hand, and a like a javelin like spear in the last hand. Uh, everybody, except for Seika, I would like you guys to roll a knowledge of religion on this. Ooh. Here I go. Knowledge religion. 18. God, I... 17. Mm. That actually makes a lot of sense for Greckles to roll that. And same with Remy, actually, too. Um, this is the last god in the pantheon that you guys have yet to be introduced to. <gasps> um, you, have, you have been you have been exposed to every other god that exists, both evil and good and neutral. Um, task and panic. This is a statue depicting, and I just want to make sure I say his name right because I've never gotten to say it before. Uh, where are you? You're gonna probably have to spell it too. Yes, this is the god Ragorak, is what he is called. Metal. This is a this is a goblinoid depiction of Ragorak. Ragorak is the god of war, but not in the sense of, um, not in the sense of Vetrion, where, you know, strength and valor and, you know, fighting for honor. Mm -hmm. uh, they revel in war. They love to be opportunists in, you know, the act of war. War is an opportunity. Uh, and they're specifically also the god of banditry. Bandits tend to worship this god. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. oh. We found the conquest and god. Yeah. yeah, conquest. Conquest is dark realm, which is like chains and like slavery. That's that's conquest. This so, is this is highwaymen. This is bandits. This is you know, okay, okay mercenaries Monty. who do blood money work. Basically. Monty, the moment you're saying this, I'm just like fuck. If I was to play another character that was like in this world, I would want to be under this god. That that sounds awesome. He's chaotic evil though. He's he's like oh man, I want very... to be like that dude from Dragon Quest. No, this is the like ah, uh, I'm Robin Hood. No, this is like I'm going to kill like a I'm family, Robin the Hood. an innocent child to get money. I will do anything to steal okay, things. Okay. Yeah. It's it's So um Greco's with this knowledge is is this statue is this figure depicted in a positive light then with this knowledge? They're in a very intimidating pose, clearly to inspire and, you know, show fear. To maybe anyone who would look upon this statue if you if you were a goblin who loved to steal stuff like through violence yeah you'd be inspired by this but if you're not so you're a little freaked out by it um hmm. yes. greckles usually you know of ragorak but hmm. usually depictions of ragorak are oni based yeah. um, some say that the onis came from ragorak but you, people more believe they came from a primordial sort of place but maybe both maybe there's oni from his circle maybe he took them in you're not sure it's very vague and unknown um but yes this is this is the last god in the pantheon which means after three years i can oh show off the pantheon list finally you did oh, it yeah. oh but... so now it is it's gonna be public for you guys um investigation to look for switches holes etc that is where you found all the stuff so all ah, that stuff okay. before our break this is you found it they're all offerings for oh the okay. yeah. ah good okay. the ultimate disservice to a god fuck you i'm taking your shit still yeah. all of his offerings yeah 
Uh, you probably get the sense that all these items were stolen to begin with, which is probably why they offered them to this statue based off of your knowledge of this god. Good, fuck this guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, immediately as you leave that chamber and to the left uh, is a solid, thick stone door. Hmm. Investigation for, like, between this room and the door, may I investigate for possible... Switches, keyholes, traps, etc. Things that might trigger. Sure, uh, absolutely. My danger sense is also tingling. My uh, door sense is tingling. I'm pretty sure there's a door. Eighteen. Right there. uh, as you you know tiptoeedly step forward and touch the door, uh, you don't see any traps. Notably, uh, the door itself has no knob to it, but you notice that there is like a bottom sort of like cut out part that you you'd grab the beneath and you'd lift up almost like a um shutters on like a business that come down hmm. oh hey we might be able to actually lift this up from the ground up but it looks pretty thick borky you feeling Should up to all... it <sighs> borky just cracks his knuckles Ugh. let's also keep in mind that whatever else is in here probably knows that something is up after all of that noise should we all lift because we're all adrift together I hate you. <laughs> what a whale of a tail. Well, there's only five feet of space. Only one person can attempt to lift up the door. Ah, uh, jeez. I will ready action a dart if I see something hostile on the other side. I will okay. also ready action a dart. Can't you throw Kamehameha blasts? I can, but I don't want to <laughs> potentially roast Borky. No, it's okay. It so a blade is better. <laughs> it's a dart. <laughs> He'll get a tiny little. I have a wound plus and get eleven to attack, Mark. That's well, you. Oh, they're, they're, they're figurines. They're my, dart, <laughs> my darts do D four damage. Like he'll be fine. All right, Borky, go to the door and go ahead and lift for me. Okay. Strength check. Move your token. Move your token to the space. Okay. Uh, no, other, that's other. Not, that's it's not in the, the space. Over, over here. Oh, oh, they, oh my God! I was thinking Move it was one something more. else. There, there we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You're fine. You're fine. Alrighty, strength I'm check. Put myself here. Uh, athletics, because you're lifting up the door. So athletics. <laughs> Lift with your legs. <laughs> Twenty-one. That's easy enough. Yeah. You actually grab it. And you're like, you're ready to throw it. You accidentally throw it up really fast. You're like, boom. Immediately, as as the door opens, a rush of bubbles and waters like runs past you. The people preparing darts are like, whoa, and kind of like pull back. You hear almost the sound of like a a waterfall, but it, you're underwater. But it's like this this Wild. loud noise and you begin to realize why reinforcements probably never showed up this is incredibly loud there are bubbles that are flowing past and you guys will see this area oh geez see oh, this catch these oh, hands <laughs> right scraps of metal just start flying oh holy mm. shit Ooh. that's neat. The centermost point of this massive chasm is a violent and turbulent whirlpool that seems to reach the ceiling and just descends into darkness beneath. Um, if you were to get close to that, it would probably rip you asunder. Um, mm. But it makes up the centermost part of the chamber as Bork, you kind of peek your head out. It's almost like being in a wind tunnel, like your, your, your hair is mm. being blown back. Uh, but immediately, uh, so immediately to the right of you is just like a, um, a handrail kind of like carved out of stone uh, and then this turbulent chamber of water. Um, immediately to your left um, is a beautiful garden of bright corals and sea anemones and various different, you know, um, uh, sea worms and sea slugs. And it's, it's very pretty, which is kind of a, just a position to everything else that's here meta are any of them bobbit words because fuck this place uh, i have the worst feeling about this room right now <laughs> i have never in my life felt so ominous about a room this is this is fuck um it's just so much space <laughs> uh may we perception check to look for fine details Sure. You you have to enter the chamber to see because you're in a your five foot hallway. And Bork is oh sure. Room. But yeah. is it is it safe to enter? Like, is it so turbulent that we might get swept up, or is it safe? Um, you get the sense that if you were to go like within the space of the turbulent water, you would yes, you so would here. get hurt. But if okay. you are on like, like the, the ground, you're fine. Yeah, it's just okay. it's just a little like off putting. You can still swim normally. 
but it would be like um like a really windy day like, just do not get over here just <laughs> lean into it right yeah okay, okay guys nice. Can I ritual cast detect magic before we all head in there? Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll detect magic. Okay. Uh, roll. I don't. There's not a roll. Roll it. Also, Kurt, I got you your tridents. You have your tridents in your inventory. Yay! Oh. Thank you very much. Why is that oh. so tiny? Make my saying... radius grow. <laughs> um, from this position, you do not detect any magic. Okay. Um, I will keep it up. Additionally, additionally, I'll just say for the sake of this, all the items you grabbed uh, from the, the the sea goblins, none of them were magical in nature at all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. Plus, sorry, one second. Uh oh. Um, I'm waiting for a fucking ablet to pop out of that thing. Okay, and then. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Wait. No! <laughs> no! No, please! Surely Monty would make us fight an Ableth after that, right? <laughs> right? Um, right? Well, I mean... No, it's just a oh. Tarrasque. Okay, you're going to see both of these things. Uh, Greco says you step in and you look immediately to the left of you. You notice very large, wide eyes looking at you from one of the holes in the coral. Um, oh, no, it's a very big eyes. I immediately... And you, kind of, you take a look at that, and you're like, okay. And you turn to your right, and you see swirling towards you. But not directly at you. Uh, water elemental myrmidons that are in the actual spinning water. They haven't seemed to have noticed you, but they seem to be within the actual turbulent waters themselves. Okay. <laughs> Guys, there's big eyes over there, and there's myrmidons over there, so let's be careful, please. I'm gonna um, get, I'm gonna would this be a good place here. to... If we want to do a group stealth, do you think now would be a good fucking time to cast, uh... Pass Without a Trace? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is a straight open room, though, isn't it? It is a straight open room. It is a hewn floor and ceiling, and there's no cover. Uh, Unless masking. you went into the holes that have the eyes, but you might have to fight each, for space. Each creature you choose has a plus 10 bonus of dexterity and cannot be tracked by magical means. It does not state that uh, it needs uh, it needs cover. Yeah, no, it doesn't need cover. It's just, it's just a plus make 10. Your own. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we could just be very quiet. <laughs> so we're stealthing uh, through the room? The thing is, the thing is, is that the Myrmidons, I don't think, saw me. But whatever those big eyes in the coral is, definitely saw me. Okay, so then I have a, I have an idea. Everyone, come back in here. We'll step into the, the statue room. I'll cast Pass without a trace, and then we go in stealthily. I mean, all right. What's stopping you from just casting it right now? I'd rather the creature not notice me do it. We don't know how smart these things are. I didn't know how smart that first thing was, and it was pretty, um... that That's the only thing I'm, yeah. I'm going to say. Like, I, I feel like... No, that's fine. I mean, I was, by the way, was not asking in character, but totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, take a roll of perception check for me as you're having this conversation, please. Uh, oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, these things are rolling really good. 18. Okay. Uh, you watch as coming out of one of the holes, very timidly... <laughs> is That's a amore. massive eel and you're like oh it's just an eel and oh, then you shit. see running down its body electricity snapping and popping oh no panic <laughs> run mm. panic <laughs> run i start to feel a little bit tingly get back inside the room please Seika. i want to I mean, cast pass without a trace <laughs> i literally like okay but i wanted to be towards the front so Oh, okay. As long as there's a space for me. I'll say for the sake of this, you all regroup in the room, you cast right. Pass with Trace, and... So now everyone I see, as long as you're within 30 feet of me, you get the plus 10 to dexterity, uh, to stealth. And then I will move back into the room stealthily. Excellent. I think I should probably go stealthily before Borky does. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be like the dun 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 <laughs> A conga line. Yep. 
So okay, we, group self check as we run across this chamber. We'll, we'll pretend to be an eel. Hey, that's a 35. That's a Ooh. 29. Okay, so guys. That's an 18. 34. Okay. Jank can shoot. For the, 14. That's for, that's that's for the first. Porky. It's for the first 15 feet of movement. So, because remember, you oh, guys are God. slowed. Yeah, we're so in the, the water. So, so go ahead and just move us all. Like, and we'll, Minnie the Moocher will start playing in the background. <laughs> all right. So we'll, that's we'll just be swaying our heads back and forth and mimic the moods of an eel. 29, 18, 30, 24, oh. and 24. So let me roll perception mm, for both mm, groups mm, of enemies. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. The eels do not notice. The eels? eels. Wait, the Myrmidons. Plural? Do not notice. And as you guys begin to move forward, you do notice now as another one kind of pokes its head out. Ah. <laughs> as you begin to make your way out, you do notice that there is like the blood is coming out from behind you from where you fought earlier. <laughs> and all the eels are like like Ooh. smelling mm. around in the water. They can go ahead if they wish. <laughs> roll another good. 15 feet of movement. I also need to dark vision people here. I have dark vision. Also, I have self vision um, as well. Vision, but that's also a nice. So we, so we all, one. Just, so we all see these creatures, correct? Yeah, you see them sticking their heads out. Okay. So, are these homebrewed at all? I mean, why? How why would why I? Yeah. Call, could I polymorph into them? Yes, you can. The stats for the Excellent. giant lightning eel are in the yawning portal book so you can there are cr i can't tell you that actually because secrets Excellent. but yes well i'll can... i'll find out if i do polymorph into one of them so yeah, yes that's yeah. what i wanted to know so all okay. right now let me roll yeah all up right. the list from seika going down okay 18 oh god so we have 33. 19 23 33 12 and 32 at 18 and 18 Oh my god, I, can I roll above a fucking 10? 18. <laughs> I just want to thank Borky and Greckles for lifting the curve for the class. No worries, no worries. Just sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I'm not here. <laughs> or am I? We know, Borky. <laughs> so that's 19. We know sometimes you're not here. 23, 12. That's three. And the two is double failure. So you guys fail. You watch uh, as you guys, you guys all move 15 feet ahead. Um, as you guys move 15 feet ahead. No, you stay in your line. You uh -oh. made your choice. Okay, okay. Well, I, was, I, was, I was helping you out. You watch as swirling angrily towards you, the two Myrmidons rush towards you. I need everybody to roll initiative for me. Ah, fuck. Uh, I knew it. Here we go again. Beans. All right, they rolled a natural 20 perception. I'm oh so Oh my sorry. god. Yeah, that's fair. Ah, uh, jeez, that's a 12. 16. It's a 19. Oh, come on, come on, uh, come on, come on. Gaijin, do you want to go first before me? So me uh, hmm. <laughs> sure. All right. I'll go with the 18. Right. Ooh, Ooh, you, nice. you get to roll initiative twice? Yes, I do. That's awesome. Yeah. Barbarian. Barbarian. That's a barbarian advantage. It's, they, they don't Barbarian. get, they, literally, their entire job is to hit shit. There's they nothing mark. special oh, to sure. hit shit. It's just, uh, it's just little things. Okay, so it's gonna be, whoa, Remy, look at that. Hey, Mark. What? Have you ever been in that cloak and dagger party where you're the fighter? Um, yes, Bosco. Let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. Music's fine. Yeah, I just turned it down manually. Like, I, I had it maxed out, though. Nor for chat. Uh, Gaijin and... Yeah, I'm uh, Zito, So, Zito's... Zito's I'm going, going after Gaijin. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Okay, Greckles. And then pass. Dump, dump, dump. And then... Uh, Seika. And then Panic. And now, just in case something happens... I can tell that the power... Chat says music's good. There's a warthog's backside. It, it is kind of Disney, isn't it? A, quick, a little bit. It is a, a little, little bit. Starish. I like it. It is a little be, be, be prepared. It's a little Alan Menken y. Be pre prepared. Yeah, right. be prepared for that. As thick as you are, get DMCA'd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get. Sh oh no! I can't wait for for Mickey Mouse to just have a sniper trained on my head right now. All right, oh, so Myrmidons hey. appear. They come swirling out of the water, and the initiative is rolled. Remy, you are up first. 
the cool. I'm gonna whoop this thing's ass. I'm gonna move over here. Okay. And I'm going to engage. Booming blade with a twelve. Twelve misses. Do you nice. swing and you're like, oh shit, you these things are. Inspiration. Do you have inspiration? It will water. not help me because I. It's a D10. All right. So. Oh. 21. That, hit, that hits. Go 21. ahead, roll damage. Four. It didn't help me. Why are you upset? <laughs> you got to <laughs> hit it, dude. It helped me. Uh, and then five for the booming blade. I have a booming blade. That's going to be nine total. Not bad. I just got to make sure. I got to oh. try to hit this thing again. Hold on. I, I messed up the health, health stuff. Uh, it's off like, give, me, give me a sec here. I actually messed this up. That was nine points of damage. That's going to bring it down. The health too. is goofed. And then 20, that hits. Yeah, thank you, Remy. Six. Six. It's gonna bring it down to... Nice. You swing down and you slash into this thing twice, just like almost identical to the ones in the air that you fought on the back of the rock. Uh, these guys are hardy and they are, they are elementals, um, but the magic essence of your sword slices through the water and actually physically harms them. All right, that brings us, does that end your turn, Remy? It does. Forky, it is now your turn. Okay, so from what I remember from what we were doing earlier, those two big things, they, I don't know if they're, they're are they going to attack us? Like, they seem aggressive, the two yeah, big they're, ones? Yeah, they're, they're barreling towards you with weapons, so. Oh, these no, two not, big guys. Not the eels, eels not have not weapons? The eels. No, no, the eels don't have guns, relax. The eels don't have hands. <laughs> The eels they're are just... like, they smell blood, and they're like, ooh, I'm hungry. So he was asking about the eels. Mm. Are they barreling towards us with malicious intent? Roll a nature check. Oh, boy. That's, oh, boy. That's my int. That's a 10? They don't look like they're angry. Okay, um, the you get, the of, you get a, It's an animal. You get the sense that they're backed into the corner. They might attack, but they don't seem like, they seem more distracted by the smell of blood. Not you guys, but like just the, the smell of blood. Okay, then Borky's going to engage the other one. Okay. Uh, Borky's gonna engage the other one. Borky's. Uh, I'm not gonna go into a rage right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's the Bork. fucking. Oh, go ahead. Now again, I am attacking underwater, so everything's at disadvantage. Correct. It's yeah, unless you use spears or tridents. Well, Borky's gonna use that goddamn trident. Okay. I'm Call it your trident. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him with the two-hander trident. Okay. There we go. Right around one of those. Twenty-five. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. 12 points of oh piercing my. damage. Nice. Wow. I like these. It's like a big fork. Meanwhile, in his, his personal realm, Ron Fault's just like, Dear Diary, Borky found a new friend today, and I think I'm being replaced. <laughs> oh, no, Try it. I like it. What did this do? Um, as you strike this creature, you do notice that compared to the air ones, when you did strike them with Ron Fault, these they seem to resist the physical damage a bit more on these tridents. Oh, they do, do they? Okay. Yes. Uh, also, worth noting, panic. Um, as the mm -hmm. as one Myrmidon has entered your detect magic spell, you mm -hmm. detect evil primordial magic, and you do notice with your detect magic that there are those similar to the kraken, those talismans on the front of their faces, where their faces would be. They've got the oh, wait. It's not my turn. Can I hit yeah. him with my second you just attack? Just notice. Do, do with that as you will. Borky, it is still your oh. turn. Yeah, I don't. Just... Well, no. You go to womp, swing and womp, you, womp. you just clip the armor and you just eh, streak across uh, the armor. So I guess I'm wondering if I want to use up one of my rages right now. <sighs> By the way, um, none of you guys can hear each other in this space. It is so loud. You can't hear your own combat, at least, which is nice, but it is incredibly loud in here. So communicating with each other is near impossible. So that's it for me. Cool. All right. It is now the eel's turn. Eels. Oh, no. Eels are scared. They're going back in their holes. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Bye, good baby. <laughs> they like they see the fighting start and they're like, Ooh, and they just go back into the holes. Nope. You're like, nope. We're good. Uh, that ends the eels' turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. All right. Um, I mean, I might as well just so I don't possibly incur too much. Uh, I will take ten feet over here. Okay. And I will toss Todd over the Myrmidon that's besieging Remy because Todd's doing a good job today. 
As you go to toss Todd, you hear Nick go, hey man, um, I just, I couldn't help but, uh, bro notice that maybe, and you go and throw Todd, go ahead and roll. <laughs> Shut up, Todd, do damage. I couldn't, I couldn't bro notice. Bro notice. Bro. Misses. You go to attack and you're just like, shit, they're armored. It oh, bounces off of the armor, but you pull Todd back into your hand. You hear Nick go, see man, that's why you gotta use me, bro. All right, fine, shut up, Nick. You're going now. Go! Offhand. 16. 16 does not hit. Wow! You lost the bro down! I'll bro down! I missed. Get <laughs> 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 yeah, Mirmi does have oh. pretty good AC. They are armored. They have full armor on them. They yeah. are very strong, yes. Uh, I will use... I'll use the rest of my movement to get back in position. I will say this as well. These, like, the actual spots here, just, like, closest to the turbulent waters, is you can stand there. It's not going to be a, a risk to you. Okay. It's like if, if you enter the blue spaces, that's where hell happens. Okay, yeah. that's that's what I was... That's the... Okay, yeah. that's honestly the only reason I didn't flank. So, okay, want, it's fine. Yeah, I, I should have stated that before the start of the turn, but Because I thought, I thought at the edge is where we were going to get screwed, so... Okay. It gets a little scary, but you can stand there and attack without any penalties. But once you hit that flowing water, you're just shunt it up to the ceiling and you're probably gonna take a shit ton of bludgeoning damage and be trapped so yeah. maybe don't do that okay all right yep. uh it is now uh my turn it is task's turn yes all right uh i want to hold on to my spell slot so no colossus slayer unfortunately i mean i'm not uh no hunter's mark mm -hmm. uh but i am gonna toss a dart at this boy over here that's taking the most okay. damage go ahead and roll to hit yahoo 20. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Bing, bing, wahoo, man. Six, Six. points. Uh, Colossus Slayer. Yeah, go ahead and roll that Colossus Slayer. Uh, ten Woo. points of damage. Nice. Uh, you notably, the dart itself not being magical seems to uh, not hurt it as much, but it does take the Colossus Slayer damage with no penalty because it is a magical effect. That's how I'm counting it. Okay. Uh, okay. well, because unfortunately, I really don't. I'm, I'm kind of up shit's creek without a paddle because I can't. I know, use my bomb. I know. That's that's kind of the point of this, so. Eh. All right. Well, I have one more attack. Yahoo. Hit him again. That hit, 18. That just hits. <laughs> Eight. Okay. Still hurting him. You throw off two darts. You're like, huh, this is what it's like for Greckles. Kind of fun. Uh, the first one goes through, like, the shoulder plating and goes deep within the water. And you watch, it's almost like with blood would spray, but this concentrated water kind of splashes back. You throw a second one, um, it actually goes through that talisman on the face. Like, it just goes through like it's an apparition, um, and does a decent amount of damage as well. Nice. Yeah. Would you like and to stay there? Or do you want to move? that... I have a... Mmm... Monty, I have a stupid idea, and I don't mm -hmm. know how you're going to flavor it. I want to try and use an handle animal check to tame one of the eels. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Okay. But I can't uh, do that now, obviously, but I want to know now. how you flavor it. Um, do you have anything that an eel would eat? Yes, I do. A okay. bag of shrimp. You oh, could that attempt too? to do that. You could attempt to do that. Yes, I on your turn you can. That is definitely plausible. They just seem to be like peeking out and watching the combat. Like, oh, oh, like, just, man. like oh. I'm about to make some best friends or worst enemies. But that's right. not my turn yet. That ends Task Turn Seika, it is now your turn. Cool. Um I'm gonna move over here, Morty. And All right. um, you swing uh, around you behind guess... this Myrmidon, you are flanking. Yes. Yes. Can you guess what I'm going to do? You're going to pull out your, your great sword and you're going to swing down on this you're guy. You're going to kick? Swing. How did you know? No, I, no. I can't kick. I have to use that to swim. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm punching. Punch him. You have plus two. That 24. hits. Fucking punch. For nine right. damage. Not bad. And I'm punching it. again. Come on. I'm going to bring him down. For 27. Hey. That Take hit. It. Go ahead and roll damage. For four damage. Nice. You, pom pom. As you hit him with your fist, there's like a sizzling sound, like steam. And you just kind of keep punching at this thing, finding the weak points, the places where the armor is not covering and you just quickly get jabs in. And offhand. All right. 18. Plus two, just hits, yes. There you Seven go. more. You guys, I'm, I'm no, doing it. Four. That's four, buddy, you offhand it. Uh, okay. Martial arts. 
Yeah. Oh, oh shit, monk, that's right. Monk. Oh, unarmed yep. counts as a monk weapon, so. That's nuts. Yeah. That's the... You can well, thank well, Connor for reminding me that. Fucking good. Mm. All right, you bam, bam, bam. You punch him three times in each rapid suggestion. You're like, oh my god, I'm getting it. This is way better than the goblins. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're a little uh, more familiar with elementals than goblins, to be fair. That's totally fair, yeah. Yeah. Because right, goblins are dead. material, right? They, yeah, most of the time they're material plane. But these sea goblins might be from the water plane. You're not sure. Uh, that brings us around to the Myrmidon's turns. Oh, fuck. Um, so these guys apparate tridents. They have tridents in their hands. Boom. Uh, Accio trident. One second, I'm just reading here. Okay, that's very fun. Accio boom. The first <laughs> one is going to make. Uh, freezing strikes against you, Seika, because you pissed it off. Oh, How about cold? You don't. Uh, so Just if you hit, then it's going to be sneaky. So first attack. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. They're using two hands. That is going to be nine points of piercing damage. And... Freezing strikes, two points of cold damage. Thank you, temporary HP. Second mm -hmm. attack on you. Uh, oh, awful. Ten to hit. Th that will miss. Also, as this I love thing is the like, resonant ring of your die on that roll. <laughs> right, it's a big boy. Uh, as it swings and misses you, you just watch as a trail of ice just like wraps, like makes like this weird kind of uh, crescent circle like in, in the water, and it just gets blown away from the actual movement of the water itself. And the last swing. Uh, oh my god, dude. 12. Awful. Miss. Yeah, it's another he's miss. Like, he's like the, the anti-me. Yeah. Yes. Remy. Mm -hmm. Three swings against you, and you watch as that trident gets built up with ice. Yay. It's cold. First attack is going to be a uh, 24 to hit. Too much. It misses. Mm-hmm. That hits. Mm-hmm. Uh, ooh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, that's 12 points of piercing damage. Goodbye, temp. Uh, and six points of cold damage. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Oh, Second no, attack. Okay. Natural 20. Oh, okay, we're gonna oh, do this. Oh, God. Oh, no. Sorry. That's all right. Change the harder. title to the one where Remy dies. Uh, I rolled the ass. Oh, God. He left his utensils in the freezer like a dumbass. He's more powerful now. <laughs> so I, I, got, I got duped on the physical damage, which is going to come to a seven points of piercing damage. But I got 18 points of cold damage on the crit. Holy shit. Ow. Ow. Math. Okay. And then the third attack. Uh, I think that's definitely gonna miss. That is a 20, that's a 15, that's gonna miss. So yep. last one, completely misses. Um, as this thing brings down the trident on you and stabs you in the chest, you just watch all this ice just like builds up on your chest plate. That ends the Myrmidon's turn. That brings us to Panic, it is now your turn. Okay, so Panic sees these Myrmidons being badasses and Panic's like, remembers the fight on the bird and he's like, yeah, that's enough of that. Uh, he's gonna, power slide out into the middle of the room uh, but he just sort of floats because there's no friction mm -hmm. uh, and he's going to cast Bane on both of these guys they need to they make their, they're in their plane so they cannot be banished I don't think Bane, no, Bane. Not, Bane, Bane oh. not banish not banishment. sorry my brain just stopped okay <laughs> hello brother so they need to make charisma saving throws, which I know they're bad at. <laughs> well, we don't know that. We don't he might, know that. He yeah, might be the one Myrmidon. Myrmidon. Before. He might yeah, be the one Myrmidon that like, was like, he woke Maybe up this morning and put moose in his hair. Don't know. <laughs> oh, please. That doesn't mean charismatic. Is, its, name is, is, its name is Water Elemental Myrmidon. It's not that <laughs> different. Wow. Mister, so, that's Mr. Water. It's 12 Mr. and 11. Both, both fail. fail. Both they fail. have. They're now baned. Uh, and I'm just not going to do anything else with my rest of my turn. I'm not going to okay. uh, preserve percent. my resources. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. We're not exposed. 
Oh, what is wow. a? Oh, let me scroll back down here. Twenty-two. You notice that there's another. There's a, like an eel just looking and watching. Oh, hey, buddy. You look so scaly. He has like this face of just like, oh, like scared. <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. That means Remy, it is now your turn. Return fire. All right. So booming blade. Uh, no. thirteen. That is, nice. That is That's all right. We'll just we'll roll it again. Why not? One more time. Eighteen. That hits. Go and roll damage. I'll take eleven. Ooh. Eleven. Points. Does the booming blade last for only the one attack or for the or for the rest of your turn? Okay. It's only on the first attack. You swing around and you slash into this thing as more water sprays into the air. Uh, you're you're you're. Sorry. <laughs> God, the telescope fish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just got the jump for a second because it was just the eyes freaking out. Um, they're cute. They're so goofy looking. Um, yeah, you slash and you do a solid amount of damage with your with your sword. And that'll be turn. All right, that brings us to Borky. Oh, it's got one of. I. Borky's just gonna hit him with the, with the, the trident. He's holding like a nice little wood. He's got good. He's got good shoulder give on this bad boy. So he's gonna keep really at it. Kind of a cool weapon. Eighteen. Uh, 20. Twenty. Actually, which 20 hits actually. damage. Twenty. Yes, that's right. And that is six points of damage. Six piercing damage. Get pierced. You slash into him. And Borky's gonna try again with the trident one more time. Underwater, baby. Twenty-two plus plus twenty-four. That hits absolutely. And here we go. Ooh, 11. Way better. Nice. You slash into him. You're getting hits off. They seem to be a bit, they're not doing nothing, but it, he seems to be resistant to the, the trident. Would I, damage, I am going to, I'm also going to move now. It's going to be an odd choice, but I kind of want to see if this might be a better idea. Actually, no, I'm going to stay where I am. Never yeah, mind. you are flanking with Seika right now. Yeah, so. no, I'm thank, flanking, but right now I just don't know what's, I'm war worried it was going to trigger those things at the bottom. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It, it just don't mess with me. the yields. It might You're be just me. standing there, <laughs> menacingly. <laughs> we're always, if you're ever in well, doubt, well, we're going to roll a perception check for me. <laughs> oh boy. Perceive oh man. Yield. When a bit becomes more than a bit, when a bit is actually. Oh, perception, you said? Just a perception check, yeah. 12. Okay. Yeah, you, you failed. You see another one. Oh, there's another one. Ah, oh, sure, there's a lot of those popping up. Oh, well. They're big, too. Like, these things are massive. Quite a lot of weight on them. All right, that brings us around to the eel's turn. Be kind. They're so scared. Don't... They just want to hide. Oh. They're all going to tuck back into their holes. They're scared. That ends their turn. Good lads. Uh, Greco's going to your turn. All right. Oh. Let's see here. That is 15, 20... 25. Yeah. So I will use my cunning action to bonus action dash to use right. 25 of my available 40. To... Uh, you remember, you're swimming though as well. I know. That's why it's 40 and not 80. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start, you start swimming as fast as you can. <laughs> okay. There's no Sonic uh, comparison here because Sonic doesn't swim. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, drowned! <laughs> I'm gonna drown fast. In the uh, Sonic Olympic Games, games, the fact that he Sonic has swimmies! It's. <laughs> Wait, does he? He has fucking swimmies. When he, yeah, he does. <laughs> does he? Okay, good. Okay, all right. Cresting anyway. the blade beam of the sun blade. Let's go. Uh, That's a seventeen. No. Does not hit, unfortunately. It just misses. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go hang out by the door then. You can do an offhand strike and attempt to. No, I can't. No, he I cannot. Oh, right. You did. You did. You're absolutely right. My bad. Actually, let me double check something really quick, because 10, 15, <laughs> let me do that instead. Not in the threat space, but just minimum range. Yeah, all right. Okay, turn. Task, it is now your turn. I'm going to do the thing. Okay. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to hold out the bag of shrimp as an offering to any of the eels that wish to partake. Okay, you open up the bag and like, by the way, the bag is like, um, like the leaf of a, like a kelp. Um, that's been like stitched together. It's very strange. Uh, go ahead and roll a handle animal for me. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Uh, that died in like backflips. Unfortunately. Oh, shit. What? Did they roll Did a three? Roll, he rolled a natural 20. 
Oh, damn. He's brave. He's a brave boy. He's not scared of you. Brave. How much is his swim speed, though? Hold on. His swim speed is exactly the distance between him and Tess. It's his turn. I'm sorry, Disney. What's the same bitch? Or DreamWorks. And eats the shrimp. Um, it rolled a natural 20 to be brave, so it's not scared of you. It's a brave boy. Uh, cool. And he eats the shrimp, and he seems cool. Uh, can Thank I, you. can I forego another action to actually do one more animal handle check to see if I can tame it even further? Sure, will... I'll, give you, I'll give you advantage because of the natural 20 on the eel side of things. Hell yeah, let's go. Shrimp power, go. Did it, did it, oh, there we go. Here I am. 11. 11. Okay, the roll. Um... Doesn't seem the, the smartest of creatures, um, but it seems to like you, so that's something, maybe. I'm going to continue with this. I'm doing pitiful damage by myself. I have a plan. Let's keep this going. I end turn. Okay. That brings us around to... I will make this work. Task Safe control action. writer. Never uh, yeah, surprising no one. Uh, I'm going to uh, punch him. Okay. Orange. 22. That hits. For six damage. Ooh, six damage. And one more again. Sorry, one second. Let me just calculate first before you do the next punch. Well. Uh, that hits. Yep. Go ahead and roll damage. Ooh. Nine damage. Damage. Yeah, he's hurting. He's he's still fighting, but he's taking hits. Again, you're like, you're like, you're so used to it. Like, you're finally something I know. I, you start punching I can rant. punch this. <laughs> you're like, I know where to punch on this one. And offhand. That hits. Jeez. Wow. Guys, I'm doing it. You're making, you're Seven damage. Woo. Make up that for the damage I can't do. That was 22 damage in one turn from nice. Seika, of all people. Boom, boom, boom. You punch, punch, punch. You're striking the armor, and this thing is having a hard time discerning between you or Borky right now. <sighs> yeah. It's the flurry of blows. No, I'm not. I'm not going to waste the key on that. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Is is it at the end of your turn, Sika? Yes. <laughs> sorry. Gonna roll roll d6 for the freezing strikes. Does not get them back, and so he's going to make three multi attacks. Uh, he's going to split a two for Seika, one for Borky. So the first one on you, Seika, is going to be a 14 to hit. Miss. Second attack. The exact same roll, another 14. Miss! Another mi Oh, guys. <laughs> guys, I'm just, I'm shutting yeah, yeah. and jiving like crazy. 13 misses you, Nope, Borky. he misses me. It's just like swiping around and swinging violently in the water. Ah, uh, this seems familiar. Remy hmm. also doesn't get his attacks back. Three against you, Remy. Mm -hmm. uh, 18 to hit. That'll miss. Okay, second attack. Uh, that's going to be uh, 23 to hit. That'll hit. Even Remember, with he's Bane. got Bane. Oh, right, Bane. I thought you were adding them. Uh, so that's going to be a straight just... 20 to hit, then. That will, uh, no, Remy will use his reaction to parry. That will miss. Okay. Misses. Third attack. Hello, brother. <laughs> <laughs> 22, and then Bane. Uh, 19. That'll miss. Okay, misses. Ooh. These guys can't seem to get purchase on you. That ends their turn. Panic, it is now your turn. Oh, geez. Uh, oh. well. <laughs> that's how that's happening. Um, Panic's just going to... Hmm. This room is loud, right? It's incredibly loud, yes. Like, if you guys were to talk to each other, you wouldn't be able... Like, if you guys were to shout in here, you couldn't hear each other at all. Oh, jeez. What if I'm right next to somebody? Could they hear me then? No, it's so... I, it's if I, super loud. Like, it's impossible. Really? Even if I, like, shouted right in their ear? Yes. It's water. That's it's not. It's not like air. It you know, sound doesn't travel as well through water, water than as air. Or All right. Water. Well, then that's not going to work. Uh, fuck. Why am I on this? Let me get to my sheet. God. Duh. Um, I suppose then. <laughs> I suppose I'll I'll uh. 
pull out copy cutter and okay. I will stride forward. I think copy cutter is what is it right now? Uh, you stabbed me with a piercing. trident back there. The piercing, so yeah, it's piercing. piercing. So it's a rapier then. It's a rapier right now. All right. Here we go. I I thrust forward. Orky, and... to your surprise, panic charges in with his sword. <laughs> it's not desperate yet, panic. <laughs> All you hear is Borky moves about blah, 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 like you just hear just sound of water. You can't hear anything. What? I'm <laughs> bored! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I I thrust forward and uh for for the sake of this, uh copy cutter is a magic weapon, correct? It is a magic weapon, yes. Okay, just making sure. Here I go. I love how we're all doing combat and task is feeding the wild. I mean Blitz probably sad. doesn't hit. Bad misses, unfortunately. I just I just look at the mirror and I'm like, well, I try. <laughs> you watch as it's like faceless void turns towards you. Remy, it is now your turn. Uh, I'm gonna swing with booming. Okay. No, actually, wait, hang on. Uh, yeah, I can still use Blooming Blade. I'll save that. Um, here we <laughs> go. 19. Ooh. 19 hits. All right, so that's seven plus uh, three, so 10 total. <laughs> That's plus three. Yeah, that hurt him. Okay, and I'm going to hit him again. That uh, hits. 23. Hell yeah. It's four. Nobody can even tell that you're doing booming blades. It's just literally like only you notice it. Like, and it's very subtle, but it still hurts them. Yeah. Um, but like you expect to hear like a, like you've been hearing before and you just hear nothing. It's more like a. Yeah, it's really like you just kind of feel it in your ears. That's it. All right, and that'll be turned. All right, that brings us around to Borky. It is now your turn. As you see Yay. Panic like trying to stab this thing too next to you. Right. Awesome. Borky goes for it too. Inspired. 23. Ooh, nice. That nice. Hits. And that is yes. a 10. 10 points of damage. That that hurts him. But That's he seems cool. resistant, but he does take the damage. And Borky hits him again. That 25. Hit. Go ahead and roll damage. That's 27 through 8. Okay. Swing, swing, slash, slash, water. Like this concentrated water is just getting dissipated into the swirling waters around you. Same with you, Remy. You just watch as its form kind of becomes a bit smaller as you are fighting it. Does that end your turn, Borky? It does. All right. It is now the eel's turn. Oh my god. Okay, now they're rolling high. This one comes out towards you, Task. Uh-oh. It's, it's looking for food. I mean, I'll give it to him. Uh, wow, another 19. This one comes out, too. <laughs> They're just hanging out. Here they are. Welcome to eel world. <laughs> eel country. And this one rolled a 15, so it's going to come out as well. <laughs> they all just smell the food, and they're like, oh, and they all just swim over <laughs> for <towards> task. <laughs> May have bit off a little more than I could chew, but I will lead into this. <laughs> I imagine Task is like, who's that? What's that movie? The Jurassic Park movie with the yeah, Jurassic, Jurassic World. Rat, I was thinking rat exactly the rat. same thing. These are huge, by the way. Like, their heads are bigger than you. Like, these are big eels. And they're, all of them are like, chick, 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 like, sparking around themselves. But they don't they don't want to hurt you, so. No, no, no. If they don't want to hurt me, this is absolutely fine. This is going according to plan. It's Task doing the Jurassic World, but instead of raptors, oh. they're T-Rexes. No, oh, Task, this is a great plan. I'm happy to be part of it. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, right. man. Mm -hmm. That's going to bring us around to Greckles. It's now your turn. Oh, boy. Guess what I'm going to do? Stop. I'm gonna run over to this boy and stab him in the back of the head. Do it again. Dash, dash action to do it. <laughs> so I have do my it movement. Again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> so I swing and I missed and I swing again. I fired and I missed. I passed and, and I missed. Woke up. I had a oh, in my mouth. Yeah, and I missed. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, yeah. You, you missed both times. Swing. You completely miss. I'm gonna go back to my hole and that's turn. Did you bonus action to move or can you do an offhand strike? Yes, I did bonus action move because I can only move. I would only be able to move in 10 foot That's increments correct. to and forward. That is correct. All right, Task, you are surrounded by eels. I have a bunch of rations I am willing to share. Okay, go, go ahead and roll a handle animal with advantage because you've gotten their curiosity. They're not hostile and you, you're not the source of their fear. 15. Okay. They really like you. Yeah, no. really like you. I'm glad they do. You hear like, you hear like, well, you can't hear anything, but like you get a sense just based on how like they kind of eat the shrimp and then you throw out the rations and they've never had this sort of stuff before. <laughs> um, like you throw out like a piece of bacon and they're like, they're like, whoa, holy shit, this is amazing. 
Um, they seem to really like you. Um, you get the sense that they kind of look towards the dangers and they seem to like they'll, they'll protect you. That's amazing. So I want to do one more action real quick. I want okay. to hold up another piece of meat okay. and I aim towards the Myrmidon with the piece of meat as if to say, that's it. You'll have to do that on your turn. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's still the eel's turn, but the oh, okay. eels are surrounding you at the moment. Oh, no, no, it is your turn. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Yeah, yeah it's your turn. my turn. Yeah, it is your turn. I'm sorry. Would you like to, do you want to throw the piece of meat? You know, in the sense that they'll, they'll follow orders. They're not a tamed animal, but if you throw meat that way, they might go that way. Uh, can I walk, oh, can I go over there holding the meat out so they follow me? <laughs> uh, no, don't bring them over here, wait. <laughs> yeah, if you want to bring them, where do you want to bring them? You have movement, so where do you want to go? Oh, Is it? <laughs> Okay, obviously I'm, I'm seeing that someone doesn't like this idea. Well, you don't know. You don't meta this. You don't meta this. Meta it. I'm going to be terrified. Anything, so. Wow, Tax sure looks surrounded over there. Wait, Monty? <laughs> yeah? Can yes. I put the piece of food on a dart? On the tip of a dart? I'll let you do this, yes. Oh, that's smart. Because <laughs> I will then smart. throw the dart at the Myrmidon. Oh! As long as you don't roll that one. Yeah, just don't hit Remy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's gonna be a chicken dinner. I love oh, it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. 14. You go to throw and it misses and gets sucked up into the giant funnel of water. You're like, shit. Oh. You, you tie up meat on a second one and you go to aim. Here I go. Natural 20. Natural 20. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So oh. seven plus two and then Colossus Slayer. Or four. Uh, okay. Imagine a golden retriever being thrown at you. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the moment you, you're like, look at the meat, and the eels are like, uh-huh, and you just turn and you throw it, and it just goes shoop, and they give you this look like, we're not, we're not going to go get that, and you're like, look at the meat, and you throw it again, and it hits the helmet of the Myrmidon, and like, all their heads turn, and immediately they start veering towards it. Oh my oh. god, yes! Imagine all the heads oh, turning, they all oh. have that little blep tongue, like, hmm? Yeah. <laughs> turning. Uh. Uh, that ends your turn task. That is turn. Seika, it is now your turn. As, as much as I'd like to enjoy what's going on, I'm gonna punch. Okay. <sighs> Excuse me. Punch. That hit. Two, four. Woo! Nine damage. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Nine damage. Second punch. 15. 15, unfortunately. That's the first time I missed. And offhand. Oof. 22. Ooh. Scary. Ooh. I, I know. That, scary too. that hits. Five damage. Damage. Not bad. Not bad. Don't you people ever die? <laughs> Whoa, what do you mean, you people? Whoa, hang. You know that these things are hardy. Oh, come on. You know these things are quite hardy. Uh, oh, yeah, but for sure. it seems to be taking damage, but it's still fighting. It's still willing to fight. These things look like they, they have a lot of fight in them. Do I spend the key to try and stop? If you so desire. I mean, they're baned already. Bane. You would have Bane. you would have one d four less on the saving throw. Plus, we're not. It's also we're, a key point. Ross at room two. So that's my real oh. concern is that we don't know how much further we have to go. Uh, I'll hold off. That'll be my turn. All right. That brings us around to the Myrmidon's turns. So the one immediately between Seika, Panic, and Borky does not get its attack, the its freezing strikes back, but it's going to make three separate attacks on each of you individually. Oh, and really? Borky, first on Seika is going to be a 19. That will hit. Before. Oh, right. Bane. Bane. Brother. Bane. Uh, 18. You forgot I'm in this movie. Seika, 18. Mm. Uh, that, that'll that hit. Okay. Uh, I thought it was doing one attack on each of us. No, it's I, for Bane. I had to roll it and just see if it was less, and I had to make sure that I don't hit you on an 18. So. I'm confused. But yes, both of those would have hit. I rolled a 19. Mm -hmm. Forgot that I had to roll Bane. Rolled Got Bane. It. Made it an 18. Wanted to make sure that, you know, if it wasn't going to be a problem. Um, So that's going to be 10 points of piercing damage to you. Ooh. On the first strike. Oh god. Uh panic. Yeah. Uh that is going to be a 15 to hit you. 
Is that with the Bane? Oh, Bane. Bane. Oh, forget him, sorry. 11. That does not hit. Yeah, you, you're you like, oh, you dodge underneath the, the swinging trident. I'm so you... glad. I'm so glad that was unmodified because that would have hit me. <laughs> uh, Borky, plus minus the Bane. Uh, oh my god, that's gonna be 13 to hit you, Borky, with the Bane. So that oh. misses as well. God, I hate you. Panic. Bane <laughs> rules! Uh, the second near Madon. Back, gets its freezing strikes back, so it's going to make three attacks on you, Remy. Okay. I take into account that I'm just that damn good. Mm, uh, we have not lately. 13. I'm not even rolled a Bane, or yeah, actually, no, he's not going to hit you, even if he. Yeah, so that misses. Second attack. Uh, that is going to be a 19, but with That'll the Bane, miss. is going to be a 15. Third attack. Uh, that's a bit better. Uh, that's going to be a 22. With the Bane, it becomes a 20. Uh, Remy will parry it, so he will miss. Okay. Piss Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, panic, you bastard. It's now your turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to... You know what? Just because I don't think I'd be helping all that much. Well, hmm. How does this thing look? Um, it's still fighting. It's still got a lot of fight in it. Hit it. I'm I'm just I'm looking at my I wouldn't really be able to do anything. You know what? I am going to play the fool here. And I'm I am going to just purposely try to mess with its trident with copy cutter and like hit it out of the way and annoy it. And I'm going to use the I'm going to use the aid action or the help action so the next attack will have advantage. Okay. There you go. All right. Nice. So the next attack against this Myrmidon will have advantage. Nice. Uh, and I really can't do anything aside from that, so I will end my turn. All right. Remy, it's now your turn. I'm going to swing the thing in front of me. With boom You're not aware of what's going on behind you as well. You don't <laughs> see all the wheels in there. I have no idea. I'm going to swing like my life depends on it, because it does. That's a 16. 16 does not hit, unfortunately. Damn, damn. Let's try one more time. That's 16 again. 16. Don't. That misses as well. You go oh. swing, and you, then you notice, you're like, hey, what's that in its face? <laughs> Why you go to meat face? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just, that's a turn. That's great. Orky, it's now your turn. Next attack against this Myrmidon has advantage. You have a plus two. <laughs> oh! oh! No! Happy. Natural critical. 20. Natural 20. Okay. Get that so brutal click, critical, baby. Click, click the damage. And then roll 2d8 for me. I love being an orc. <laughs> and barbarian. You, you get the brutal critical stacks on both the race and the class. So go ahead and roll 2d8 for Jesus me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 10. Oh, 24 points of damage. That gets the DR enough for you? Uh, unfortunately, it's have because it's not magical, but ow. Ow. <laughs> that's only you, one attack, by the way. That's, that's the first true. attack. Yeah, the second one will not have advantage. It's going to be just a straight roll because of the health. Oh, action. 17. Oh, oh, 19, 19 hits. 19, yeah. it hits. Yeah. And that's six, six more damage. For three points of damage. Very nice. You swing down, you like crush in the helmet, and then you swing around and you go to like slice off its neck, and you're like, Oh right, and it's just like it comes back into form, but it's like it's like really twiggy and small. Like you just got rid of part of the the, the anatomy. Um, uh, these guys are weird. Fighting. That one, that one hurt it though. That that one definitely hurt. No, pretty good call didn't... to use the help action there. Yeah, yeah I would know. Yeah. Oh, well, that was the, we could not plan that any better if we tried. I know, right? It's like I'm good or something. And end your turn, Borky. Yeah, she does. All right, it is now the eel's turn. Oh, oh God. fuck. The moment we've all been God. waiting for. Uh... The eels, this first eel is going to swim over towards this Myrmidon. Uh huh. Let me grab my eel stats real fast. Eel stats. Hashtag eel stats. Uh, oh, shit, it has multi attack. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah! It sure fucking does. Uh, I bet he does. It's not going to use its lightning jolt because it's going for food. So, in its mind, it's like, I don't need to jolt anything, I want food. 
Um, so it's gonna make two bite attacks against the Myrmidon. Chow face. Uh, oh my god. Did he, uh, did he crit? Did he crit? That's a 23. No, it's a 23 to hit. Uh. Oh no, he also gives lightning damage even on a bite. Okay. Yes! Fuck oh, you! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this worked! I cannot. This is this is absolute batshit craziness. This is amazing. This is crazy. They. I'm so happy they were brave. I was just like, oh, if they're scared, they're not going to help you. But, <laughs> they're brave uh, boys. Nine plus. Best boys. It's twelve points of damage from the eel, but it's not magical. So that's six, six points of damage. Uh, Remy, as you're fighting this, and you watch as suddenly a giant eel comes out of nowhere. And just bites down on this thing. Makes a second attack. Oh, it's like that fucking scene from King Kong where the guy gets eaten by a worm. That misses. The second attack misses as it goes to bite and it just chomps down on the armor. This one rushes past you, swims above you. So he's above you, <laughs> Remy. Uh, he's gonna go right there. Um, and he's gonna make an attack. Uh, he misses, unfortunately. Ooh. That one is a... That's a 21. That's going to hit. 20, right? 21. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 11 points of piercing damage from the bite, which is going to be cut in half. Two, five. And then the shock damage. Whoa. Uh, seven points of lightning damage, which it is not resistant to. Damn. So that's going to bring it to... Uh, yeah, that, that hurts it. The third eel, who you first fed, is gonna rush over. He's my uh, Greckles, you, Greckles, remember, you just look up and you just see giant shadows. As uh, these things after you and you're like, uh, 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 That's a natural 20, all right. Uh, 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 he's my favorite. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is working. Oh my God, he rolled double sixes. So that's gonna be- <laughs> Oh my god, this is a fucking game. Uh, 16 plus 3 is Hi, my pretties, fly! And then the lightning damage is also doubled. I think close to you might be screwed. 3 plus, oh my god, 3 plus 8, an additional 11 damage. That's 30 points of damage. Um... That's dumb. I'm gonna call him Zappa. Uh, 11... He's gonna put him to that amount. This eraser. this eraser sucks, but I hate this. It doesn't erase. I'm just going to flip it around and hope for the best. Okay. Uh, and then 19 points cut in half down would be... I'm going to make it 10. Just easy on the math. Yeah, he's hurting. Uh, he's really hurting. Uh, the last eel, because again, high ceilings, is going to go above. He's going to be here too. For the sake of this, he is he is within combat range. I am yes, just yeah. pressed against the wall. Yeah, you're like surrounded by lightning. We just see the lightning like barely through your face. Uh, two more attacks. That's a miss. That's a hit. They miss on the first one and hit every time. They roll like a, they've rolled sevens and then they roll like a high number on the second one. That's that's another twenty-two. Uh, so it's <clears> gonna be. This might actually fucking kill this guy. Yo. That's four. Can you do I am pog facing in real life right now. <laughs> this is so peculiar to look oh, at from a four distance. Plus, four plus. That's going to be an Imagine what's one. like up close. So, so, okay. If I roll an eight, the eel will kill him on this D8. Kill Let's go, eel. Kill kill Let's him. go. Oh, I was so excited. I thought it was an eight. It's a three. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. But you do watch as the one that got the natural 20 literally bites off the head and is just like eating the head and swallowing it. You even notice uh, Remy and Greckles as the second jaw of the eel latches out yeah. from the predator and just sucks in the head, leaving just the body. It's still fighting, yeah. um, but it like chews on the metal and kind of spits it out like a goldfish spitting out like a rock. Jesus. Yeah. That ends your eel's turn. Uh, Greckles, it's now your turn. Hey, oh, guess gonna... what I'm gonna do? I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> you're like, ah! wait, wait, you could finish him off before you run. He doesn't yeah. know. It's no fine, one he doesn't know. know. No one knows know. except for Seika, literally. Even, I mean, even if yeah. I did know, I am not risking the one in aggro. It is, boys. 
is just I am, a cacophony of I meals. Am, I am bonus action dashing over here. <laughs> oh god, sorry, I hit the mic. And I will I will launch Todd at the one that every at, at the Myrmidon that everyone is descended upon. <laughs> All right, you, <laughs> and you're gonna aim for the one that's surrounded by eels. No, the one that that oh, okay. the uh, that the party is. Sorry, the, I should have been specific. The party's descending on. <laughs> okay, the sake eels it. are part of uh, our party. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Oh, here we go. With sneak so attack. Eleven plus sneak attack. Eighteen plus. That's seek attack doubles too. Yep. Yeah, plus another oh, 15. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Prince. That's 11, 44. 15 plus 18. Oh, so get out of here. Ooh, Fucking mung. That's you're disgusting. disgusting. It's, it's magical too, so. 40, mm, yeah. It is. Points of damage, he's gone. <laughs> Thank you. The armor just falls to the ground. Holy shit. Greckles finally smiles to himself. I've accomplished something this day. We Remo, Remy is screaming in the back. Find that? <laughs> <laughs> Remy is surrounded by eels. I, 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 I want to look back. Can I do a perception check to possibly understand what in the heck is going on in the Task is like hunched over, like t Akari posing with his hands. Did you see <laughs> Task holding his, his ration bag like an old man feeding pigeons? So you <laughs> Task is like, man, I hope Remy makes it, but worth it. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and watch this. Th actually, no, I'm actually gonna watch to see if any other eels crop up. So okay. that's, that's all I'm doing. Uh, go ahead, Task, it is now your turn. One, two, three. You join your eel brethren and they look excited to see you. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> Dad's I, home! I you bring put, McDonald's dad? I, I put another piece of shrimp on my dagger and okay. plunge it on this motherfucker's oh chest. <laughs> Meat. 26. Oh, 26. <laughs> this. Uh, hold on. Yeah, that hits. Six plus Colossus Slayer. Eight. Yo! Max damage. Mm. Goodbye. How do you want to? How do you want to? How do you want to kill this guy? I I grab him by the. I grab. I plunge the knife into the chest. I look up towards my towards the eels. I look to Remy and I smile. I grin, and I hold up the fucking Myrmidon for them all to eat. All right, you watch. The moment you plunge the knife in, it's just a feeding frenzy. You see bits of metal and like the lasting kind of concentrated water just dispense uh, as they swarm. Oh, I didn't mean to delete him, but that's okay. Um, as they swarm I mean, around him, uh, he is gone. There's nothing left. I give I give them another piece of ration, and I don't know if that's another handle animal, but I just want to give it to them. Yeah, you just, you just throw it to them, and they just kind of snap it up like koi fish. Yep. I guess I now have an entourage of eels following me at this point, huh? They they seem to be friendly too, but they're still cautious. They're not incredibly. You know brave what? No, creatures. I will go. I will go ahead and brave the handle animal check by patting the fucking one that did the lightning damage, the first Zappa. one. <laughs> okay, you're gonna I'm pet him. Handle go animal on Zappa. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and pet a handle animal. Yo! Sixteen. Mm. Okay. You are touching a, an electric eel, though, so... But I know, I'm, I'm taking the risk. I have 11 make, HP in temporary <laughs> make, make, make a constitution saving throw for me, please. All right. Just zap. 16. Okay, you're going to take half of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that's a scary roll. Uh, that's 22 points of electric damage cut in half to yeah, 11. Fuck. So that's all my temp HP. Worth it! I rolled two yeah. eights and a six. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's worth Ugh. it. Are you are you kidding me? I'm making sure these things like me. They do like you. They legitimately, like, you're feeding them. They're like, ooh, food, food, food. And it's fun food that makes sense. I motioned them to follow me over to everyone else. You guys can't hear anything, but you see Tass just feeding these eels, and the eels are like swirling around him. And the moment Tass moves, they follow him like ducklings. Yes! This is, this this is, is what the I opposite. wanted! This is the opposite effect of the seahorses swimming around Borky and Panic's <laughs> heads. They're still there, by the way. They're like clinging onto your hair, trying not to get sucked into like the vortex to the north of them. 
I, I motion to the next room, like, let's get the fuck out of here. Yep, yeah. let's go. All right. Uh, what? This is like a weird color. Is this like coral or something? Yes. Yeah, it's coral. It's like an entire coral garden. Actually, I want, um, mm. hmm, what would this, would you, none of you would even know what this is, actually. Mm. Um, okay. So would I'm going to say, nature? no, it would be something else, but you guys wouldn't know about the society, I think, to figure it out. Um, 60 foot dark vision, correct? Yes. I have yep. 120. Sweet. Okay. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> well. You see a door immediately. Uh, as you guys proceed forward, uh, the sound, once you reach the hallway, the sound kind of filters away and you can kind of hear each other again. Uh, immediately to the left of you, you see a set of double doors, which appear to be barred from the outside. Wait, ah, from... Remy. Yep. Hang on. So locked down. The door's locked down then. The floor. Yeah. It's just a piece of wood, though. It's nothing like. Super crazy. Substantial. As much yeah. as, as much as I will, like you know, not actually physically touch them, I'm still going to attempt to play with these things. Oh yeah, you just keep throwing food. Make sure you're writing off rations though. For oh no, I am. I have them. been. I'm just saying. Okay. Like I also have the bag of shrimp, so I'm just like, here's a piece. The bag of, of shrimp is enough for like one ration. It's not like you know. Oh okay. Well, it's a good thing we have a shit ton of rations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If uh, if Remy passes uh, close to Seika, uh, Seika will just hand you a potion of healing. It's a 2d4 plus 4. Yeah, appreciate um, that. And I'm going to take one myself. Wait, it's 2d4 uh, plus what? 2d4 plus 4. Do you right. need another one, dude? Like, Because I have a lot. I yeah, also have fine. a lot. It's fine. I still I'm have totally several. Fine. There's nothing wrong with Oh, that. by the way, uh, on my Fos list. Fosco, this... take another regular healing <laughs> potion. It's 2d4 plus 4. All right. So I have two of these. Thank you. Um, Ooh, good. Yeah, there you go. 10. Um, does anybody want to roll an investigation for loot before you guys leave? Yes, yes. please. Uh, guy Greckles said it first. I'll say Greckles does it. 22. Hell yeah. Find a, you find a single scallop. Cool. Hey. You did it. I my, my, did it, Greckles. My loot list says literally none. Wait, no, a single scallop. And the scallop is underlined twice. So it's very important. <sighs> oh, man. I will pocket We're gonna, that. Okay. We're going to yeah, eat this thing. It's a big scallop, too. Hmm. I actually like scallops. Me too. I don't like them raw, though. I like them cooked. Ew, what the fuck? Who eats eat them raw? raw? Sushi. You'd be surprised. Yeah, it's sushi. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's fair. Sushi. Uh, yeah. And sushi. So the double the double door is kind of like, um, it has like um, uh, vertical base like bars in it. And you notice that there's a thick piece of what looks like probably wood from a ship that's just slotted to bar the door. There's just wood over the door. Yeah. Could I um, press my ear to the door yeah, to see yeah, if I, I hear anything roll inside? Perceptions. Roll, a, roll a perception check. Okay. Let me jump in on that. Perception is going to be 13. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a 19. 15. Uh, 19, 15. Okay. I, should I attempt? You're a little preoccupied with the eels, I that's think, fair. at this moment. Uh, where are my stats going? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you do hear, like, the sound of glass moving around. Um, you also hear... It's hard to hear because there's swirling next to you, but you do hear, like, the movement of metal, like, chains. Oh. Um. Hmm. Exactly. So what are you thinking, guys? These might be the prisoners. Oh, well, yeah. move out of the way. Let me move it. Off. Or it could be, or it could be some mos monstrosity that's chained up here. Oh, hey, though. We'll find out real quickly now, won't we? Morky just kind of cracks his knuckles. Move out of the way. Let me do this. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on. Let what? me let me check the corner really quick. I don't want to. I don't want to guard or anything coming in when we're trying to do this. Yeah, it's just fair. It's a fair point. If I can, Monty, can I sneak over oh. and just peek around the corner? Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and roll stealth check for me. You yeah. still have Pass Without a Trace. Yeah. Uh, he's not within 30 feet of you. Oh, that's right. Shit. If you, I mean, I can wait for you to move up. Do you want to move within 30 feet? Sure. Uh, the eel's going to be able to get close. <laughs> yeah, the eels begin to, like, push their way. They, they literally impatiently push their way through, and there's, like, a... <laughs> 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 that's an eel conga So that'll be a 36. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you turn the corner and you look up, uh, roll a perception check for me. Your spinal oh, boss, right there. there. It's just right there, man. It's right there. 24. Right. Woo! You see... Two of those sergeants standing right. watch, but they don't seem to notice you. Do okay. any of them look even remotely like Halo? No. Okay, what? so the monkey trick's not gonna work, guys. Sorry. All right. I move back. There's two guard. There's two guards. I couldn't tell what they were in front of, but if we're gonna do this, we gotta do it real quiet. Okay. Wait. Can't one also, of you cast silence? That was me. Can you ritual cast that? I don't need to ritual. I could just cast it. Oh, okay. It'll cost a slot, though. So keep yeah, going. I'm. Uh, this will be my final t uh, two slot. Mm-hmm. You do Perhaps not know how we should discuss goes. our plan before you use that. Might I make a suggestion? And? I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not in the best of conditions. <clears throat> Perhaps even We're just like... a brief press to catch our breath before we engage any more of these things. Shove another potion at you. No, save those, because we might need those in combat. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to take at least a short rest. Okay, um, you guys want to take a short rest, that's fine. Okay, can we, can we? Uh, if, we're, if we're taking yeah. a short rest, can I throw up the dome real quick? Sure, yeah, I'm going to say you guys go back to the turbulent waters. I was going to say, we have an area where no one can hear us, and we haven't alerted anybody yeah. beyond that room. Yeah. So uh, even if we don't want to do a long rest, the, at the very least, we can use hit die. I, 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 I do not require rest. I will remain with the eel brethren. That's totally <laughs> fine. Yeah, because the you moment you enter inside the... If you enter inside the dome, they immediately, like, tap on the dome like fish, like ambitious fish, just lying in bed. No, I'll, I'll, um, just, I'll just chill so, outside with them. So for this, you guys can roll hit point die up to your level. Um, so I'm going to roll two of those. I will roll, roll one. I'm going to roll as many as I need. I as well. Uh, I am at full HP. Oh, 14 and 9. God bless. Add your con. Make sure, your con. Make sure to write off the, the dice that mm -hmm. you have used. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. yep. they are they are a resource you need to I don't, I, I, It adds my cons. It already do. Hey, it, it does, I know, but like you can use multiple dice. So if you have, you know, your level, I, you I, only, level I, only needed, I only needed two. Are level you 10. really right now? <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, oh, that is song of beautiful, rest. Bosco. Song of Rest. So everybody also gets uh, one d one d eight. Well, wow. Oh, uh, we get an extra d eight when we roll a hit die. Uh, you get an extra seven hit points. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah! Uh, oh, excellent. After that, I'm back up. Good. Don't forget to add. I'll, you have to add your modifier each time you roll, Seika. Not yeah, that's so why that's I did plus nine. two because my modifier oh, is plus one. Right, right, right. Okay. Hey, Mono. Oh. That's beautiful. Yes. While they're doing this, I'm gonna have Tass go back to the front, get a goblin corpse, and feed it to the eels. Okay. You, you said do. we so also like... get one d8 as well, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys Thank get seven. Oh, okay. oh, we get seven more. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From from Panic Song or Rest. Got it. People say it's useless ability, but um... also if you have any abilities that come back on a short rest, you get yes. those back as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish. All right, here we go. That would have been nice. All right. So the rest is oh, over. Hey, my squidding gets back. <laughs> oh yeah, you're squidding, but you're probably. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your bladder feels full somehow. Oh, yes. actually, I do get key points back at the end of a short rest. There you go. You do. That's that why I want to take a short rest because there are things that come back. I thought I thought key had to be a long rest. Holy crap! I get nope. all of them. Holy back. crap! Strong monk. Yeah, because I have to spend like the thirty minutes meditating. Still... So, as yeah. a note, I will spend thirty minutes of this short rest yeah. meditating. You guys watch an episode of SpongeBob, and you guys rest. And... I said meditating. Um, <laughs> and uh, you and guys one more are die. ready Sorry. to go, ready to roll. One more hit die. Sorry. Beautiful. Great. I'm glad I wasted that. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Dome goes down. I could go. fire that bitch back up again. Reckles, then... are you okay? You're not actually on a square, man. What's going on? Yeah, I am. I'm right here. <laughs> no, you're like a little off. off the square. <laughs> Those are the eels. Leave them alone. Listen, I've uh, had a rough day. <laughs> Do you ever I get could throw so the. Upset, you're askew. I could throw the tiny hut back up over the door again. That would prevent anything I don't want coming in or out, in and out. 
So if there is something behind there, but that would be another 10, 11 another minutes. 10 minutes casting. Yeah. yeah, but 10 minutes isn't the same as like, because we just took an hour, so another 10 minutes isn't the end of the world. What do we think? I, so I'm cool you, with the original casting. I'm again? cool with that, yeah. Yeah. What All are right, you trying I'll, to do? I'll go in front of the doors, the double doors, and I am going to ritual cast. How Tenny how Hunt. how big is the dome? Because I'm not going to let you put it somewhere where it does not fit. Uh, it's you, you. You need a space in which it can fit, so you. It you is can't... a ten foot radius around and above me. Ten so that's foot radius be, means it's twenty feet. It's going to be huge. It's going to go out all the way over here, so it's not going to fit. You can put it here, maybe, and block the hole of the hallway, but. Okay, I'll I'll do that then. I'll I'll. Put it here and then. You can't leave it either. You have to. Yeah, stay you can't in it. leave it. So what? I'll leave it. No, I can yeah, leave it. it. No, you can't because no, I couldn't. You can't leave it. <laughs> when you cast Tiny Hut, if you if the caster leaves it, it immediately dispels. So you have to stay inside of it. Which is fine because basically you're using that to protect the group. If something bad happens, so you send the strong dudes to get hit. Right. Because spell ends if you through. leave its area. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'll I'll leave and keep my peaky finger in it and be like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> no, you have to be inside of it. Uh, Borky, All you have you to do is polymorph into an eel, and then you can stretch the distance. Kurt, I know you said Borky wanted to be the one to take the wood off. If you want to come over here and do that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Borky's got the strength modifier, so it's not it's not lodged. It's it's just sitting in the door. Oh. Yeah. Well, I also have danger sense. So if anything happens, I'll be able to see That's it. That's true. Let's be before you do that. Let's all get in position. What? I still don't know what we're doing. No one. We're opening, we're the, door. opening door. the door. And if anything bad is going to come out, we're going to get in the hut because he can keep it out. Okay. We're about to. Uh, we're about so, to exploit. We're hoping that it's prisoners, but it could be giant sea monster in shackles. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So okay. Are you doing this stealthily, or are you just ripping the board out? I did suggest stealthily because we got two guards up north. Yeah. One person can do this. It's not a two-person job. Borky will do it. Can I aid okay. him? Sure. Borky, roll a stealth check with advantage as you take Thank the board you. out. Wait, your next... Oh, wait, that, that dissipated. Never mind. Go on the other side. No, it dissipated. Time No, no, time no, 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 no. I'm talking to... I'm talking to... I'm talking to oh, jeez. By the way, the eels are very upset that they cannot get into the hallway where Task is right now. Uh, you, Task, you look up and you see one squeezing its head, like trying desperately to squeeze its head between, like, uh, the... The ceiling and the and the, the tiny hut. It's very funny. I fucking swim up to the ceiling and just pat it on the face. I allow them through as a joke. He <laughs> <laughs> will flop next to you and be out of the water, so I'm assuming no. There you go. Um, Maybe they can magically breathe air. Okay. Uh you you gently take the board out and the door is openable now. You don't see any visible other visible locks on it. Uh, I'm going to motion for Borky to open the door so I can look in, since, you know, eyes are... Borky does that. Are you going to peek inside? I'm going to like to peek inside, yes. Okay, go ahead and you roll me a stealth check as you gently open up the door. This with, with, has no disadvantage because it's not based on moving with your armor, it's just you opening a door. Me or Borky's opening you. the door? I'm just going to look. Oh, you're going to look. Okay, Borky... I'm going to look, another... Borky's going to open the door. Borky, roll more. another spell check, and Remy, roll me a perception check with advantage. Okay. That's a nat 20. Nice. To avoid the nat one on the other side. Yeah. Natural 19. 20 for Bosco. Jesus Christ. Okay. Woo. Good rolls. Good rolls. Woo. Clutch. Good teamwork, Borky. Okay. Yeah, great, great. Borky gently opens up the door, and as you peer inside, immediately staring back at you, noticing you instantly. Mm-hmm. You see a humanoid man in robes. Um, he's very strange looking. Um, probably the most notable feature of his is that he has tentacles for a beard. Okay. Um, his oh, skin shit. is kind of a bluish purple color. Um, he has kind of like a waist, you know, full all the way down past the, probably you imagine, feet, um, robes, and the sort of air of mystique about him, very firm-looking features, and he turns back staring at you. But what you also notice with the natural 20 is that lining all of the shelves around him are sizable jars filled with baby krakens in their 
tiny fry stage. And you also notice with the natural 20, a steel, um, I guess metal, um, oh god, what are they called? Shackle, thank you. Uh, Shackle on his leg that is bolted to the stone floor. And as he stares at you, he looks and he goes, well, it seems I have company. And that's where we're going to end the session for today. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Wow. Guys, I we found Davy Jones Locker. <laughs> what episode? What app number is this? 156. 156. 156. You guys have fun. That was a fun adventure. It was a really fun session. That was good. That was a yeah. good fight. We just started up with just smashing goblins. I was so ple- I was so pleased. I'm like, That's actually, this is my favorite activity. What's what's the number again? Uh, one fifty six. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. man! Um, I am so fucking happy that worked. I I am happy for you too. The eels would have attacked if they like felt really threatened by you. Like if you guys had like bothered them or gone too close to the little holes. The fact that you just like threw out food for them, they were like, oh okay. Like they're like, oh. <laughs> all these guys are all right. By yeah. the way, Zito, don't worry about saving. <laughs> I'll handle that. I'm Later. already doing it. Well, fuck you then. Well, fuck you. Too. Wow. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good guest. No, for it's sake. cool. It's fine. I just I wanted to make sure it went in the right place and was done the right way. But it's cool, whatever, man. Where the fuck is this guy here? What? And then there's this motherfucker right here. What, the guy in the room? Yeah, I know what he is. Yeah, I know what oh, he is hi. too. I've David fought Jones. one of him before. Oh, David Jones. Jones. That's a really Why? interesting question. Why is he here? Mm-hmm. L- listen, Why listen, is he here? listen. I have Zappa and the gang. Okay, it's fine. Gobble, gobble. Are, are they all gonna have rat pack names? So Zappa and the rat. That's Sid Beatbox. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just, just going out on the beatbox, yeah. So Connor, you want to take us home? How are you feeling? You feeling okay? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling okay. There are painkillers in my body. Oh, uh, congratulations. You can, find, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday is Tabletop Wargaming Day with my buddy Luke. Mm. We played uh, Ninth Edition last week. We might be getting into Age of Sigmar soon, however, oh, because no. that, that has been uh, an interesting journey through... Uh, basically, just looking at models and being like, "Wow, that's cool." I wonder if I. Yeah, can no, play the it. models for Sigmar look uh, beautiful. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. Best ones. As, as a someone um, who has a Saurian army, fuck yes. I'm, I'm, I'm probably so going to be running that. vampire counts and necromancers and shit like I'm that because it's fucking cool. I'm stopping out of Seraphon. I'm going to go uh, Stormcast Eternals because their models are fucking sick. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, they have griffins. They have griffins. It's my favorite. I love griffins. Well, griffins. we'll see. We'll see about that in the future. Friday, Friday Funhouse, or just play whatever I want. Play a bunch of fun games. Saturday, playing through Yakuza Kiwami 2. Through the whole Yakuza series, as a matter of fact. And Sunday, I'm either playing Half-Life Alex or games with the Harbingers. The, uh, uh, sort of the inside community over at Dead House Sonata's Discord. And if you don't know what Dead House Sonata is... And clearly you haven't been paying attention, so I'll just post this link right here and you can learn all about it. And if you're so inclined to purchase a Founders Pack for the uh, six-player action RPG where you play the dead to fight the living, uh, then some of that money will get thrown back to me if you use that link. Also, be sure to check out my DM Guild where I have 5e subclasses there. I've got three there right now, but uh, hopefully as soon as I get some art from Brachyzoid, uh, I will be able to get the Passion Domain Cleric out there Nice. And also be sure to tune in next month for the uh, Predator Rogue. Uh, sort of a rogue subclass that takes a lot of inspiration from the uh, animals and predators of nature. Right. Nice. <laughs> Tonight! We, I'm not going to lie. One of his one of the abilities in the Predator Rogue sheet is one of Rengar's abilities. <laughs> nice. Cool as hell, dude. Hey, 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 Mark Allen. What's Where that? can they find you? You can find me on twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. Here on twitch.tv slash Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. You can find my cat, Bunny, at Instagram's chonk for life um, Streams coming up. Uh, our schedule's a little wonky right now because I'm dealing with a lot of, like, last-minute voiceover sessions that are being 
uh, rescheduled this week due to last week's storm. Um, but I am going to try and uh, stream on Friday in the early afternoon. Uh, we just started Werewolf the Apocalypse uh, Earth. Bound, I think it's called something like that. Earth Blood. Earth uh. Blood. That's the one. Thank you. We just started that uh, this past weekend at a late hour, so we'll be continuing that. Lots of lore from the world of darkness in this game. Um, I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you guys will join us for that. And then maybe we'll get to Mass Effect again at some point in the coming week. Who knows? We'll figure it out. And that's it. Awesome. Hey, Zito, where can they find you, man? Krusty Woods out of the box. Then get out of the box. Krusty wants out. Krusty wants out. No, the world needs laughter. <laughs> oh my god! You can, you can. God damn it! Yeah, do you, you think I don't have that episode mapped out in my head? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, as I've said, uh, my schedule's a little fucked up, but when I am streaming, you can find me at twitchtv zito CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Ringed Almanac on Patreon. Uh, I guess I can talk about a little bit what I was doing since my whole schedule got a little fucked. Uh, unfortunately, because of what happened with the winter storm, a lot of my writing got pushed back. So I'll tell you guys what I'm working on. I'm working on a new ranger subclass called the Warg uh, Master. So you get to actually, like, you know, be a goblin war, uh, warg rider and actually get to use one of those as your companion. Uh, uh, and the second thing I'm working on after that will actually be, you know what? I'm sick and tired of the fact that we have tabaxi, but no dog race. So I'm doing that. So, yeah, Whoa. there's a dog race incoming called the Houndin. Uh, that'll be after the Warg Master. Uh, after that, you can catch me on Twitch. Unfortunately, I'm not able to stream any uh, cart because Jub Jub, the server, is next to my computer in my room, and we can't set it up just yet. Uh, when I do stream, you'll find me playing... Uh, fights in tight spaces and a bunch of other new indie games that are coming out because there's a fucking shitload of them coming out like at the end of this month at the start of next month like loop hero my fucking hours of free time will be devoured by that game oh man check you them out there free time, but you don't have free time i, was about to I say. know i really don't <laughs> guys Gaijin goombla where can they oh god you? uh tired uh yeah yeah, Twitch TV no slash Gaijin Goomba, where I am making too many videos. Um, I will probably be streaming this Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Uh, probably Toki Den. Um, a lot of people ask me what my favorite video to make, uh, like about a game was, and that really is it. And it's a game no one's ever heard of. Imagine Monster Hunter, except it's like oh a uh like a uh three key. <sighs> It's it, it's a Muso game. I'm trying to remember. Oh, Warriors. That's right. So like Samurai Warriors or Dynasty Warriors, but put into a Monster Hunter format. It's kind of like that. Uh, I'm probably going to play the first game of that this weekend. Uh, speaking of this weekend, I have a new video coming out on the main channel. Oh, no. Yes. Main channel. Ha! Words. Uh, I'm looking into the Mesoamerican origins behind a whole lot of what's going on with Bowser's Fury. Uh, with that new release of uh, Mario 3D World with that tacked on. Aside from that, new video up on the second channel, Gadget Perspective, talking about the five things that drive me crazy about Japan. Um, and yeah, after all that, I'll probably be taking a short break because I have a new computer and I need to integrate old parts into it. So that will be fun. Nice. Okay. Hey, Bosco, where can they find you? Find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram and Twitter and on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Hmm. Awesome. Hey, Monty, where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter where I'll be posting hopefully some uh, some work progress on my on my helmet. I just ordered paint. I'm going to airbrush parts of it. Um, but you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue where tomorrow we'll be playing Ocarina of Time uh, Goblin Ooh. Mode. We just beat the the... Uh, forest temple which is my one of my least favorite ones and i think we have the fire temple next which i remember being pretty good um the one i'm dreading is the water temple because no when i actually played <laughs> uh ocarina of time the first time i had a friend come over and beat that for me because <laughs> i didn't want to do it um <laughs> so i can't do that this time i actually have to go through the water temple um but 
definitely check that out. And then on sun, uh, Sunday, we are going into side quest city for Final Fantasy IX. I'm hoping to do the op optional quest, optional boss fights, all that fun jazz. Uh, we probably only have a few streams of that game left. Uh, so definitely come and check it out. Awesome. You can find me here at twitch.tv slash Takahata101 as well. On Twitter as well, the same name. I just got done playing Yu-Gi-Oh! over the weekend. I uh, got I'm playing some more Valhalla tomorrow. Bar is going to be open Friday and Sunday night. We got some wrestling on Saturday. Uh, that being said, I expect some more fun uh, clips and videos on my Twitter. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And also, I have a new YouTube. Do you want to see the link, guys? I want to see it. You want to see, you want to see my new YouTube channel? I want to see it. I no, escaped. God the damn it, Bing. No, not me. Bing. Not, not, <laughs> Bing? Don't don't even start with me. This Bing Bing always somehow takes over. Hey, bro. Actually, you want to use I don't Bing? Have, I don't I don't have the hey, chat yo, open. I, I don't have the chat the open, so I'm gonna have to link it here. I, I can't link it. Anyways, it's called the Weary 101. Check it out, guys. Yeah. Uh, I've escaped right. the box and no one. Now can we stop also me now. real quick, before anything, guys, we gotta talk about our sponsor. That's yeah. right, guys. We gotta talk about Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice? Die Hard Dice! Die Hard Dice has a wide, huge selection of both metal and polymer dice uh, that are wonderfully weighted and all beautifully handcrafted with non-toxic materials to make you your dice rolling experience... Do you want dice that let you befriend eels because they roll on the Die Hard Dice and become brave because of the natural <laughs> 20? Then buy Die Hard Dice! Get the purple and silver, I think, Mythica dice, which is the brave dice for eels. <laughs> Do we have to like call them up in an email and tell them, "Yo, you got eel dice"? <laughs> yeah, we got eel <laughs> dice. Say, like, make some eel Legally, dice. We were Real to eel. Say that these dice do not guarantee you will befriend giant eels. Yeah, exactly. So that's a like little little asterisk at the end. <laughs> and you bottom, two can but... befriend giant eels at uh, ten percent less than the usual cost if you enter the coupon code <laughs> expect feb at checkout. So be sure to check out Die Hard Dice. Get some sell some for yourself. Get some for a friend or family or anybody that loves D&D &D in your life. Propose with dice. Get Don't some of them with the eel. Get, get them for your eels. Yeah, get them for your pet eels. Speaking of speaking of eels, what do we want to name this episode before we leave? More I, combat. I, I I saw someone say electric boogaloo, and I, I oh. made a little giggle. It'll give away that there's eels coming up, though. Yeah. That's fine, though. But it's eels. I mean, that's that's uh, there's so much more that happens. It gives people something to look forward to. Would you rather call it Big Fat Ink Dump? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> My no. Big Fat Ink Dump? We already panic had a big, eel, panic big oh, darn it. Hold up. Hold up. Eeling in combat. Oh, maybe. Mm. Panic mm. in the darkness. Oh, that's amore is pretty good. That's amore. That's pretty good. Can I grab some bits here while we're doing this, deal, guys? Sure. Yeah. I would like to thank uh, Weebs the people for gifting some five subs. Chaos himself for gifting five subs. I want to thank I Grim twenty one Art and Salt. Thank you so much, guys, all for dropping those bits. Armageddon Destroyer seven seven seven. I want to thank the Percusizer for the one thousand bits. Thank you so much, the Percusizer. Uh, Dust Ninja Candy with a thousand bits. Well, hi guys. Just wanted to show some love. Also, be reading Cyber. Punk Red after playing 2077. I like it so far. Very different to D&D. &D. Oh, well, it's, it's, again, it was based on a tabletop game, which was... Oh, yeah. The, bo the book is very different to D&D. &D. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, I want to thank uh, Gauze, Polka King. I want to thank Undead Ban. Not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. This is like an hour ago, but he dropped 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Uh, Kaze3173, Task Disney Princess confirmed. The Fearless <laughs> the fearless you, Monster. You I've, I've had my suspicions. When does, uh, fearless, when does Task take a level in Beastmaster? Re remember, remember, I was bogarted for being a druid on my very first game. That's it's true. all coming to this point. <laughs> the fearless monster with a thousand minutes. I love listening to you guys play DD. It's always a great time. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much to fear the fearless monster. And I would like to thank Bubba, Bubba Jolie, uh, Nia the Man Kid. Thank you so much for the bits, guys. And DD Russian, thank you for the sub. And that is it for me. I have a raid target. Ooh, Who's that? Target locked. Identified. Can we raid Hey Mr. Rabbit? Target locked! Oh, yeah. I mean, Kill him. Send we him the eels. Him in a while. I got him hooked on Neo 2. Mwah. I guess we could Wait, raid Wait, do you mean Neo 2 or Neo also? Neo 2. <laughs> the number 2. I let said the sure. Let's Neo. let the raid message be, uh, why aren't you playing Neo? <laughs> I don't Why aren't you playing Neo 2, Rabbit? <laughs>
Why aren't you playing Neo 2, Rabbit? Oh, why aren't you addicted to the level up yet, Rabbit? Oh. All right. Get out of here, you rapscallions. Bye, everybody. Have a good bye. We'll bye. see you this Saturday for the Prince Division. Have a healing good night. Also, be sure to tune in this Saturday for the last arc stream. Oh.